you'll be able to access your favourite craft channel on your TV anytime you want to watch. Here's how to do it. Simply turn on your TV and connect your Amazon Fire Stick. If this is your first time using the device, follow the on-screen instructions to connect to the internet and log into your Amazon account. Once set up, you'll need to open the search bar. To do so, simply use your remote circular directional dial to scroll to the search icon and select it. Now simply type Hochanda into the search bar and this will take you to the Hochanda app. All you need to do now is select download and remember it's free. Once this is added to your Fire Stick, you can move the app for easy access. Press and hold your home button on any app and then select apps from the menu that appears. Scroll down to the Hochanda app and press the button with the three horizontal lines on your remote and select move to front. And that's it. You can now watch, purchase and catch up with your favourite shows 24 hours a day, 7 days a week on your TV whenever you feel crafty. Wakey wakey, rise and shine. Welcome to Good Morning Achanda, your daily breakfast fix of your favorite crafts at 7 a.m. Whilst you're getting ready to start the day, join us every morning for the deal of the day, a product available at a special price but only for the 24 hours or while stocks last. Also, part of your morning routine should be the sunrise specials, your favorite crafting items available at a special low price but only for the hour. Tune in to Good Morning Achanda and start your day with a deal. Well, hello, a very good morning to you. How are you? This, of course, is Ho Chan, and we have got a splendiferous, that's a very long word for this time in the morning, a splendiferous day coming up. Your sunrise specials. Would you like a whisk? That's not a whisk, that's a spatula. It's going to be a great morning. We'll see you in a second. <laughs> Do you know, Rachel Pierman, you just ran the sum total of about four metres, but you did it in about 72 steps. I tell you something, I could, uh, I could beat, what's his name, you know. Oh, Mo Farah. That, well, no, what's the other one, does the... Oh, the you say Bolt, that's yeah. right, yes. Absolutely. I'm, no, you're science. I'm great on athletes. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's, that's Mo, that's isn't Mo. it? That's Mo. That's Usain. Very good. How are you, darling? We've never worked, bef worked together before, have <laughs> no. we? Hello, TV's you? Derek. No, stop it. <laughs> stop it. Nobody knows what that means. Um, yeah, so actually we're, we're both, in, in a Hochanda sense, we're both kind of newbies, aren't we, really? We are. We're totally in control and anything could happen because, I mean, to bring two newbies together, it's just crazy, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, it's going to be great. Uh, do come and join us on Facebook. We are Facebook Live as well. Uh, Helen's there, Dave's there, Heather's there. Morning, Diamond. In Where are you in America? I always forget now. You are in America over there. Where's Snowy? <laughs> Hang on, where, where's Snowy? Yeah, Snowy's fine. Snowy's installed <laughs> and there and ready. Uh, we have got a lot to do in this hour, haven't we? We have got a lot. We've got loads of things over there, including a spatula and whisk, which I now know which is The which. difference between which? The difference, right, yes. Right, so we'll, uh, we'll whip up a storm a little bit later oh, on. Oh, now that's Shall why we? they pay you the big bucks. Uh, yeah, right, no, I, that's why I'm so cheap. <laughs> uh, right, let's have a look at, first of all, does this come with a sting? No, no sting for this, because this is the show full of stings. Is it? Yeah, this is the show full of we stings. We should explain what a sting is when, when something, a little slide comes in, a little, yeah. you know. We, uh, well, let's show we, you. we could have one. Let's show you what a this sting is. is. A, this is a sting. Oh, no, not, not ready yet. yet. We'll do it in a bit. <laughs> OK, now we can. Question, Derek, do you think that after this show we'll actually be back, both of us? Because no. 
I, actually, I've, every time I've been on this show, <laughs> I've said, that's it, that's another, <laughs> another combination they won't let us that's do. That's the end. Adam and I can't work together, <laughs> Paula and I can't work together, Janice and I can't, can't work, work together. together. So that's another two to the list. <laughs> anyway, let's have a look at your deed of the day, shall we? Yes. Um, it's from Studio Lied. And there are three A5 paper pads here, and they are absolutely gorgeous. We have a little flickeroo. Yes. And see, that's a technical term, by the way. A flickeroo. Uh, what's inside? <laughs> so, so many elements here, and they are beautiful. I love them. Actually, this is going to work really, really nicely with what what's coming up in the next hour as well, and with Lou Sims from That's Crafty in the next hour. We've got some most gorgeous, gorgeous rice papers, and the papers here in these studio light pads would work amazingly with those. Yeah, they are very, very good quality, actually, these. They are amazing. Mm. They're 160 GSM, I nice. do believe. Yep. Let's have a little flickeroo through this one as well. They yep. are beautiful. There are nine different patterns in there. That was the back page, by the way. You didn't need to... Oh, look. Yes. Avocado, very good for you this time of the morning. <laughs> I do like an avocado. Yeah, I, I, I do, but it's just not practical for a long oh, car lemons. journey. lemons. Look, when life gives you lemons, you know what you do? Make lemonade. Oh, well, I don't That's know. I'd, I'd slice it into seven and add it to the gin. <gasps> uh, one at a time, obviously, and probably not like at this time of the day. Yes, I do like a gin. Yeah, I, well, you know, it's, got, it's, it's the thing at the moment, isn't it? Yes. Every, everyone has a gin. The sort of flavoured, flavoured gin. That's not... Do you know, I love it when papers... You, that looks textured, doesn't it? Yeah, it's, it's gorgeous. Not, but you, you want to go, ouch, ouch, in case it got splinters. It also looks like a photo, doesn't it? Yeah. It's very, very good indeed. And you get repeats in these, which I think is really, really good. Because if you find one that you really, really love... Yes. And you don't really want to, you know... You, you know no, what but, it's like. No, but that's what, that's what paper crafters do. I know. Like. They sniff the paper, they keep the paper. I know. That's the thing, isn't it? Mm. It's a bit, it's a bit like, and, and I know lots of you as well from from fabrics as well. There are some fabrics that have got to be keepers. Do you know what I mean? Yes. You get them home and you think, oh, I can't, I can't, I can't cut into you. I can't you. cut into that one. I can't do it. Look at that. Exactly. Yes. Yeah, lemon clever. wool. Yes. There you go. With lemons and your gin. You can almost taste the colour in that, can't you? Yeah. Beautiful. Don't lick walls, though. No. It's never good for you. No. Okay, what have you got? You've got the third one, Yes, I've got the third one. <laughs> and if we have a look here. Now, do you know, these are really useful, these little elements at the back, because you could uh, cut those out, and then you could actually layer them up, so you could have a little bit of dimension to your project, which would be rather they interesting. They are gorgeous. And what's nice about these pads as well is that we've seen that there are different sort of themes running through. Uh, you know, great for your gardeners there. And then you've got, like, look, look, the, um, the, the so is that sofa with the car? On the it front? is. It's, it's, Isn't that clever? Yeah, I, actually, I, I, I've, I'd I've like sat that in my house. There's a bar in Gibraltar <laughs> called Bruno's. Other bars are available, which has a big seat like that, which is the front of a mini or the a car that's or whatever. Clever, isn't it? Yeah, and then a seat in the middle. It's really cool. I'd like to have that in like a kitchen with a 50s diner thing. Yeah, going on. that would. Be fun. I like the fact that there are some fairly masculine elements in there Absolutely. that aren't the traditional run of the mill. Every time I get a birthday card, yes. it's a car yes. or a boat yes. or a sportsman. That's I've, right. never, I've never played any sports whatsoever. No. And I still get cards for, even from my family who've known me for the whole of my life. Even though I've never kicked a ball in the right direction ever, <laughs> in the right and still direction. I get ones with footballs on them. Do you know I've got a football story? Go on. Very very short one. I went to my first live football <coughs> match with my husband. Oh yeah. In Crystal Palace about 25 years ago, whatever right. it was, and we sat at the end, and then a goal was scored, <laughs> and it was right in front of me. I know what's coming. So I just sort of went, yeah. Yeah. Realized I was on the wrong end. Yeah. So um, all the yeah, supporters you just around me the were like the opposition. Ee! Everyone looking at her, going, uh, yeah. "Sorry, what, yeah. what are you? So what are you cheering for?" Yes, exactly. That's them. That's them. It's like that song, <laughs> "Looking at Her." Yeah. yeah. So uh, us and was sort of going, "Go down, go down, yeah. go down Shut before up. we die." Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> but it was fun. Four three eight two zero oh, two is your brand new deal of the day. Remember, we are launching this right now. By the way, there are three A five paper pads there for you. Um, usually seventeen ninety nine. Now, just twelve ninety nine for you, which is really really good. And remember, that is your deal of the day. So it's just launching right now, and until the stock goes. Yes. Which could be this time tomorrow morning, or it could be in about an hour's time. That's much much better. Yeah, excellent. Welcome back, Lottie. Yeah. Lottie had disappeared into the distance, our, our producer. Our, we yes. were like, hi, she's in there somewhere. She's only just back from maternity. We were wondering if she'd nipped home again. Yeah. We were on the baby <laughs> monitor. <Yeah. laughs> it did sound 
sound like that. It did sound like that. I could just hear this in the background. But um, anyway, she's there now. That is um, an amazing buy. It's a very good buy. So twelve ninety nine for all three. It is all three. Do you know what I do? I play a little games sometimes with myself. Go on. What I do is Go I on. imagine if I walked into a shop, how much I would spend on these. I do exactly things. the same, especially when I'm here, because you know I'm new to to the crafting world as well. So mm. I often think, right, I do go into craft supply places or places that sell craft supplies, and I think, right, okay, well, if I was picking that up on its own, I think I'd be expecting to spend probably five pounds or more so mm. it's almost for me it feels like a bit of a three for two yes do you know what I mean I agree like yeah. that well-known place that we go to for three for two three deals. for twos anyway I've said too much already <laughs> let's go and do some sunrise specials Yay! Where were you? I got here way before you. you I see, know, I know. Running. You did it in so many steps as well. Yeah. And I've got shorter legs than you have. <laughs> I don't know how that works <laughs> at all. Uh, right, time for your sunrise specials right now. Now we're going to go down here and then along there. Uh, and hopefully we'll do it all in the, uh, in the right order. Yes. Everything we show you in this hour... The prices will be good only for this, this hour. hour. Only for the next... Oh, it's most of the hour, it's fine. <laughs> Three minutes to eight. That will be the cut-off time for you yeah. to check out uh, on these great savings. 51 minutes to be precise. Oh, well, there you go, mm -hmm. if you like precise. Yes. Um, let's do some fabric first. Let's do some... Uh... Oh, now, do you know, this has got a lovely feel to it. Yes. They're sleeping. They're sleeping. They're, they're sleeping. Yes. Um, it does this, feel gorgeous, doesn't it? It does. So this, you could make a lovely little baby uh, sort of quilt out of this. Get two metres. You could. Mm. Uh, we always say with brush cotton, of course, not suitable for uh, children's sleepwear only because of body temperature regulation, etc., yes. etc. Et we always have to say it. Of course, I know we're all adults and we're all sensible. We have to put it out there. I, well, I'm not that sensible. No. So. <laughs> <laughs> I never have been. Um, this also, I think... I mean, I speak as a, a, a man with two cats. Yes, I am the cat man. Uh, what are your cats called, Derek? <laughs> Bobble and Pickle. I love it! Bobble and Pickle. <laughs> they are rescue, so they, they had that name already. Oh. I rescued them at the age of 13 and three quarters, and they're beautiful. They're Tonkinese. Oh. So they're a, they're a mix between, I think it's Burmese and Siamese, and they are very vocal. If they want something, they will definitely let you know. And if you don't hear the first time, you will have done by the 13th <laughs> time. Um, and they would love this. They love snuggling up to anything that's soft and cosy and beautiful. It's and like actually, all of us. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> we all love you know, snuggling up to something soft, cosy and beautiful. At this time of the year as well. Yeah. And definitely at this time of the year, yeah. you might be thinking, yeah, thank you. I'll have those winter pyjamas that I really need out of this. Now, this is working out. This is You're getting two metres here, aren't you? Right, so two metres. Right? Let's we, do the maths. Do you know what? Should we just see how yes, much it is? Shall we? Sorry, I'm destroying the set. Oh, look, now that's not for sale. Ooh, that's lovely, that, isn't it? <laughs> Very attractive. Um, well, I thought if we opened it up, people could see how yes, much they'd no, be you're getting. Right. They'd be getting but I'm, yeah. I'm, while you do that, it gives me the time to do the math, Yeah. as they say, across the, the ponds. The math. The math. Um, oh, that's a, ooh, that's a big yes. piece. And there you go. The selvage is at the top there, as you can see. Hi. Yeah. Oh, hi. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's working out. I mean, because most people buy their fabric by the half metre, don't they? Yes. It's working out £2.50 per half metre. Wow. For brushed that's, cotton. That's good. Of that quality is yeah. really, really good, actually. It's a yeah. lovely colour as well, isn't it? Don't you think? Yeah, it's, it's beautiful. Like, um, Sort of a almost like a corn flowery blue, would you say? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. And do you know I love the idea as you were saying about your comfy comfy cozy pajamas. Mm. Mm. Yeah, love it. You could I make yourself just... I don't know if this is a trade name, but you could make yourself a um I'm I'm gonna say a blanket that you can sleep in rather than saying the other word. Mm. You know what I mean mm. though? Yeah. Where you can you can almost make it your little your little linus blanket kind yes. of thing. Yeah. That you could get inside as well. Yeah. That would be quite nice. Yeah. You can tell it's early in the morning, can't you? Because the words are not quite coming. Um, no. T ten, ten pounds. Ten pounds ten for pounds. two metres. Instead of 22 pounds, but only for this hour. So if you do want to get hold of that, do you know what to do? Pick up the phone, give us a call, or go onto the website, of course, hochanda.com. Beautifully. What do you think, Kirsty? Oh, beautiful, beautiful. Redisplay. Oh, yeah. she's going, mm, you know. Mm, 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 iffy. Mm -hmm. 915872 is your item number. Fabulous. Um, Please make sure you check out as quickly as you possibly can on all of these. Next up, we have um, wire for you. And this is like that your floral wire. That made it sound wire, so exciting. It? Next we have yeah, wire. 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 That's a boy talking, isn't it? Mm. Bit of wire. 
Um, it's very handy. It's one millimetre thick and 50 metres on each single reel. Which is really, really good. And you get, um, it's in three different colours, isn't it? Yes, white, ivory and black. Mm. And this is so, so super flexible. I shall demonstrate with a finger. Uh, but it is great for your flower making, if you're making little paper flowers and you're looking for stems to keep them together, um, because it will also hold its shape. But again, unlike um, sort of a, a coated metal wire, um, you've got that lovely soft, it's almost like a sort of braid around the outside so you can actually feel that softness and also it blends in really really nicely um, especially if you're using it in card making listen to me who's never made a card I tell you something <laughs> I was very impressed listening to that I was with you I was my imagination was was flowing but it, but it is good. I mean, I have to say, and, and, and if you are familiar with wire working techniques in terms of a jewellery making sense, you can use this in the same kind of way. So you can wire weave with this as well. I've had a little go. I've, I've taken some to one side and done a little bit of wire weaving. Um, so you can do it. You absolutely can do it. So you can make little animals out of your wire as well. You can also do wire writing. So if you were thinking about a, a black card stock as a background, you could actually wire write a name or, you see I've started a heart there already by accident. Uh, but you can actually, now it's completely distorted into something else, but you could use that as sort of balloons but in a backdrop, I was, couldn't you? And I went, w w there you balloons. go, you see, I read your mind. Mm. So there are lots of different things you can do with that. I would like to give you an, a, a round of applause there. Is that, a, is that a seal round of yeah. applause? That's arr, arr, arr. Like the, no, like the... Um, Throw me a fish. Do you remember the... No. <laughs> <laughs> what are you talking about? I have no idea. <laughs> no, you know, um, I was going to say that's not like the applause that... Um, what's her name? Pelosi, the, the senator in America <gasps> gave Trump. Do you remember when she was like this? Mm. Mm -hmm. mm. Yeah, that was very... Uh, no, mine was a genuine, well done. That was well, some good you, usage there. Very welcome. <laughs> uh, Twelve pounds and ninety-eight pence. Remember that is now half price. So grab that in that hour, in that hour, in this hour, <laughs> in this hour. not that hour, not this that hour, one, this right one. now. It's very important that you do it right now. Twelve pounds and ninety-eight pence. That works out around about four pounds per reel. Very good. If you like your wire, by the way, coming up later, I'm going to talk to you about one of the seven-day savers, which is yes. jewellery wire and lots of gorgeous coloured jewellery wire. So if you want to shop ahead, yes. you can see that right now on the website. Yes. Four eight six eight two one. Should we move along? And next. Next. For now, your do you next know, trick. my next trick. When I was <laughs> doing my first show on Tuesday, we yeah. were talking about pom poms, yeah. and um, everyone loves pom poms. Everyone loves a pom pom, and they were like little, like this, but they were little pom poms instead oh, pom -pom of jewels. Oh, pom pom trim. Yes. Mm. Oh. And the lovely producer, uh, Sandro, um, said in my ear, "You could use those on your boots." Right. And I misheard. Oh, did and you? And I thought, that's a little bit risque. It I've is. only known you for 32 minutes. That's true. And now you're... Mind <laughs> you, this, this is the telly. This is the place to perform, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> um, so, similarly, you could trim, I'm thinking, not probably not boots, but cushions, no. yes. light sh shades, yes. things like that, lamp shades. Um, but they're lovely, aren't they? They're they very, are. Look at us, they're so tactile. Really tactile. I mean, and anything like this, the way you can really sort of get interactive. And, and actually, the, the, the thing about this is you are getting all three aren't you yes yeah it's not we're not choosing are we yeah you're actually getting a meter, a meter of each, each which is fantastic for 9.99 so around the edge brilliant. of a cushion yeah. um it might be the bottom of a blind unless yes. like me you have two cats in oh. which case you'd lose some They'd of that love it. fairly quickly yeah um but yeah i actually think something like this looks quite nice at the bottom of a blind if you've got something brand new mm. it might be that you're edging table decorations Yes. with those as well yes. it might be your posh placemats it might be the little coaster for your wine glass yeah. maybe which you could edge in this a little bit like you use pom-pom trim in mm. the same kind of way um they are beautiful i have to say it's really nice i can't think of anywhere else where you could go out and buy something like this personally speaking i know i'm a boy saying that so you're probably all at home going well derek i could take, give me a list of seven shops i could go to but i don't think that you could buy it in this kind of quantity for that this money. kind of price tag. Mm. Do you know what I mean? Three thirty-three a metre. That's really good. That is very good value, isn't it? Well, it's half of our regular price, isn't it? Yeah. And the mill shop online are brilliant. Seriously, do also have a look on our website, shop by brand at the mill shop online because they are amazing. They'll also cut yardage for you as well on their mm. fabrics, which mm. is brilliant. So mm. if you want to order two and a half metres of their gorgeous one of their gorgeous fabrics that you can you can do that and they've got lovely lovely products and this is just 
Just a small example of what they do. Uh, nine pounds and ninety-eight pence. Three five five eight six six. Correct. Yes. Beautifully said. Very very good. Let's see what's happening on Facebook. Oh, shall go on we? then. Before we move. Uh, oh, right. Mary. Hello, Mary. Mary, Mary. Crafts Flowers. Who says I love all these trims, but I don't know why. It doesn't matter. You don't need to. I don't think you need to sometimes, do you? I, I look at my husband like that sometimes and think I love you, but I don't know why. <laughs> <laughs> and, and how many years down the line are you now? 22. 22 years. <laughs> I do well, you're allowed what. to say that. After 10, you're I allowed to say what. that, aren't you? <laughs> uh, right, let's move on then, shall we? We have got Joshua Thomas, leather and fabric swatch collection right now. Do we get... Oh, now, actually, I thought... Lottie, when you were telling us about these this morning, I thought we were going either le leather or... No, it's the whole lot. Fabric. It's the whole lot, isn't it? Oh, OK. Mm. So 15 leather... 15 fabric, what you see here, um, and these are fantastic. You could, the thing is, you could use these for all sorts of things. I mean, mm. my first thought was, if you want... Oh, are, are, we, are, we, are we in tune We're today? We're totally in tune, darling. I now, was thinking... I was thinking patches or, you know, on the on a jean or patchwork you things. You know why? It's the colour you're wearing right now. It's the right colour I'm wearing, yeah. And, and it's the tone mm. of these mm. on the top here that made us both. How yes. bizarre. I know. We've never met before this morning, I know. by the way. It's like we're old friends. Like we've known each other forever. Wow. We need to start presenting this morning. Let's get rid of um, Holly and uh, we what's are, his name? Philip. In fact, the same height. <laughs> I'd like to say in profile we're the same, but I'm slightly rounder, <laughs> I would say. You're a little bit more streamlined than I am. But we can work on that. Yes. We can work it's on good. that. I'm liking it. It's a new it's a new partnership. Yes. Um so yeah, oh look, that's a perfect colour for me as well. But yeah, you could but you could also die cut with these. Yeah. Use them for your card making. Um you could yeah, you could make bits of jewellery out of here. Yes, of course. You could you like cabochons and that sort of thing. Yeah, very, very nice indeed. There's some mm, lovely colours here as well. Are. Very trend led colours. There's some lovely sort of soft, lovely that's like, almost like nice a totally green, isn't mm. it? Yeah, Wonderful. they're beautiful, aren't they? They are lovely, these sort of deep purples and then the reds. Like you say, they're all working beautifully together, aren't they? Yeah, maybe like little um, wallets and things you like could. that. You could. Little little key rings yeah. as well, which yeah. would be very, very nice. Do you know what, what also is nice as well is that it's very pliable. Because you know when you get some leathers yes. and suede and they're really... Yeah. This is actually... Uh, yeah, and it's very stable as well. Do you mm. know what I mean? So it's nice and strong. You only would only need one layer. If you wanted to make, for instance, uh, a key ring or something like that, you would only need the one layer. You wouldn't necessarily need to back two together. And you can see on this, you've got your leather on one side, your, your lovely, rich, sort of supple, grained leather on one side, and then you've got the lovely new buck feel on the back. Yeah. Which I love. Yeah. I think it's really, really... Uh, do you know what? For £12, like pounds, again, this might be one of those things that you're looking at and you're thinking... I like it, but I don't know why. Yeah, it doesn't matter. Just buy I it. I just need this in my life. Yeah. Um, uh, it's one of the things you pounds. put in your crafty stash, don't you? Of course and then it you is. just keep it for when, you know, you'll, you'll, you will come to a project at some point and you'll go, I'll use one of those. Mm. Mm -hmm. it's, it's phenomenal. Yeah. I love it. Right, now let's have a look at one of our seven day savers, shall we? It is from Sugar Buttons and it is CD ROMs. And it is Christmas, by the looks. But is that Christmas? One's Christmas, and one, and one is lovely. One, it looks like a cartoon. The other one, fairy tale and weddings and bits and pieces. So two sugar button CD ROMs by our Catherine. I love our Catherine. She's gorgeous. One six one o one eight. All of her designs there, nine pounds and ninety eight pence. That's a quarter of the regular price. That's pretty good, yeah, isn't it? Yeah, well, it should be forty pounds. It is so one of the seven-day savers, though. So um, mm. only until stocks last, and then we launch some more on Sunday morning. We're going to show you another one of the seven-day savers, uh, which is jewellery wire in a wee wire. Yes, lovely. But we're going into the kitchen right now, which could be <laughs> could well, be. Seeing as I said that was a dodgy whisk. territory for this one, <laughs> 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 but we'll see how we get on. Yes. Now this is all about cake making and decorating and gorgeousness love 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 this yes. massive array it isn't you know i used to do a lot of baking when my little girl she's a big girl now she's 14 so we're in the teenage years now right That's too cool for cake making now then a whole new world yep. um yes uh, it, it, she has moments where she turns into a little girl and would say let's do cakes right. but then all she wants to do is eat the batter and then she'd just get bored uh, okay yeah but, but we used to bake and these actually 
because that's one thing she used to say to me was she would say we go to the supermarket she would say oh well, let's buy some fancy cupcake cases and things like that so they are ah, important yeah okay now we've got some numbers here as well <laughs> i knew i knew that you would just happen. Knew it. i knew as soon as i started this yes. operation that's the way it was going to go yeah do the tilt instead. Oh, there we go. Oh, there we go. Yeah, <laughs> just throw it off. Right, listen. Okay, well, I'll, I'll put all of this back together again. Oh, yeah, there we go. Yes. So you have your numbers, zero to nine. Yeah, that's my next birthday, 67. <laughs> yes, yeah, not, not looking too bad. I've I, decided to start doing that from now on. I've decided that this year I am merely 35 plus VAT. <laughs> You're going to have to do the official searches. <laughs> to find out what the number actually is. <laughs> 35 plus VAT yeah. is going to make me feel good for the whole of this year. Yeah. And, and that'll do me. Yes, you, do you have a question mark as well? Question mark, is it my birthday or not? <laughs> Well, listen, you know, we get forgetful as we get older. I quite like that because you could put a bit of humour in there. You could put 21 question mark. Are you really 21? That's, yeah, I could put 35 question mark, couldn't I? If yeah. I went, see, my, I, I've got a lot of time to think about this because I'm not until November, so we've got a while until that goes. It is very depressing when you... I was in the, in the gym yesterday and this guy that I was working with said, you know, yeah, because, you know, I'm getting aches and pains because I'm 27 now. And you go, oh, sh shut up. I know. It's like working at one of these channels, isn't it? Because it, it's Everybody like being in a so, crash. Yeah. Because, so, because yeah. we're all the wrong side of, I'm not going to presume, uh, but we're all the wrong side of a certain number and the crew here are, average age is about 14 here, isn't it? <laughs> in most channels. In most channels. I'm in most joking, of course. I'm always the oldest They're all person. so young. I know. And depressing. we love them all. We love them all. Anyway, it's a lovely right. selection, seriously. Yes, it is. 14 pounds and 30 pence. As we were saying, Derek, about going to that supermarket, if you were to put all that in your shopping basket, I am pretty sure that would come to. Well, the price on the screen, 27.30, that's about right for me. That's yeah. what it would come to, wouldn't it? Because yes. those candles are quite expensive. Well, often um, you just buy the numbers that you want or you need, and they can mm. be two or three pounds per number. Yeah. And, yeah. and you think, if you think of how long, my dad celebrated, I love my dad dearly, he's my world. He celebrated his 80th birthday last year, Aww. so we had a couple of different birthday parties for him. And I bought an, an, an 80 candle, and I think it was about five pounds, it was the eight and the zero together. And of course, how long does that candle last? It is about three or four minutes, isn't mm, it? Mm. And it's gone. Yeah, exactly. And you kind of, I don't begrudge it, because it's my dad and I love him. I'd spend all my last penny on him. But you kind of think, oh, mm. that's five quid that's just melted just gone, away there in melted. four minutes. Yeah. There you go. That's Imagine a boy how people again. in London feel when they watch the fireworks on New Year's Eve, the ones who that's pay very for true. them. Well, they'll pay 15 pounds a candle anyway, <laughs> won't they? Because <laughs> it's London. Yeah. Uh, 386658, that's what you get for living in London. I <laughs> And by the way, 554 cupcake cake, 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 cake cases. Oh, okay, that's good. Is what you're getting. Ooh, cupcakes. Mm. I know we're all, you know, we're all trying to be good at the moment, but oh, I could do a cupcake now, couldn't you? So could, I could. That's the thing about working so early in the morning, you see. Yeah, by, by 10 o'clock, you are absolutely I think if, starving. If I'm looking for sympathy, I'll, uh, I'll. Is there a dictionary in here? That's the only place I'll find sympathy, <laughs> I think. Right, let's move along. Now. Let's see. Here's a quiz for Rachel Pierman. Oh! Can you discern these <laughs> items from each other? All right, I'm going to try. I'm just going to give you a clue. There's yeah. a whisk in there somewhere. Okay, I'm thinking, <laughs> oh, oh, there you go. I'm not helping. Listen, I didn't offer to help. Yes. You, actually, you were wrong. You were wrong. You said there's a whisk. There are two. Oh, there are two. I stand corrected. <laughs> Oh, you could play the drums. You could, couldn't you? I love these. There oh. is a ten-inch whisk. <laughs> because size is everything when it comes to your whisk. And a thirteen-inch whisk. So I'm thinking that's the ten, and that's the thirteen. I'm thinking you might be right. <laughs> Can I just say, in all seriousness, 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 seriousness um, whisks, they need to have a little bit of movability in them mm -hmm. to be good. I know this from my baking days. Yes. These have, can you sort of, can you look, can you see that wobble? Movability. The movability, seriously. You need, because if it's too, when you're whisking, you need to get, this is sounding ridiculous, but you do, do you need to get the air and you need to get movement in what you're, and some whisks are really... None of that. I think as well. I'm going on MasterChef. No, I summer. think you're right because I think you know if there's not enough separation between your prongs. So much better said. Yeah, 
then actually you can get quite a lot stuck in. Mm. Do you know what I mean? Mm. And there's nothing, nothing worse than half of your mixture being on the inside of the whisk. There's got to yes. be space, there's got to be movement, and yes. there is both. Yes. Here. <laughs> there we go. There's a reason to have that. Just for that, isn't it, really? Now, the spatulas, what I love is the little sentiments, aren't they? Well, not aren't sentiments, they cool? the words. It's really cute, isn't it? Like yeah, one, one, one seems to have a recipe on it. Flour, eggs, butter, milk, sugar, bake. I don't know what that would make. But like a all. cake. Oh, yeah, I suppose it would, wouldn't it? <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Spot the boy. Uh, you've got your um, little cupcake spatula there, and they're all very, very flexible as well. Can you see just how flexible that? That'd be for the chocolate cake mix. Yes. <gasps> chocolate cake. Oh. Mm, mm. Stop it. And you've got the mini ones, haven't you? Yes. Which would be good for decorating. Oh, hang on. That's like a spade, isn't it? A spade? That one is. It's like a little <laughs> little shovel, isn't it? What are you talking about? Shovel it. You're not going to get much gardening done with that, right. are so you? So what are we going to do with that one? <laughs> well, if is you... this for scraping all the doodads off is. the doodads? It is. It is. So if you've got li if you've got little bowls or cups and things like that, if you imagine, right, you've got you've mixed something or you've got a little tiny cup and you try and get that in there, you're not going to get any edges. But if you get into a little cup, <laughs> yeah, sound effects. You can lick you can lick up the last bits of your cake mixture without having to put your head in the bowl. Perfect. <laughs> Sounds even better to me. £14.44. Sorry, Lottie, what are you telling us, darling? Sorry. Something technical. They're oh, heat they're resistant. Heat... 230C. Oh, that's amazing. Mm -hmm. Right, OK. Why is that necessary? I won't get them any hotter than is that. Is that for dishwashing? No, I think it's maybe if you're using them in pans, if you're doing your hot milk. Oh, yes! Making your rice puddings. Mm. Melting chocolate. Melting chocolate. Melting I chocolate. I apologise, Lottie. I apologise. I was being facetious there. Why is that essential? No, I wondered as well, actually, but it does mean you can use them inside pans while good. you're actually heating she's very things good. as well. She's amazing. She's amazing. She's done a lot I'm of baking as well, hasn't she? While she's been on return, she's been making a lot of cakes, haven't you, Lottie? Yes. A lot of cooking. <laughs> oh, no, apparently no. not. No. No. Well, you will now. Get these. Get, Get these. these, Lottie, and start. 14 44 for those. Um, Nice saving on those, and 493045 is your item number if you want to get hold of those. Right, let's talk about these items here now. Yarns, not yarn balls, as um, our lovely Paula says. Oh, I love Paula. Yes. Oh, I'm going to be here tomorrow morning with Paula. Oh, I love her dearly. She's, she's just she's amazing, isn't funny. she? She's She's very funny. She's one yeah. of life's good ones. She is. She's, yeah. Love her to bits. Yeah. Uh, but she can't say yarn. She can't. She, well, I asked her yesterday, I said, can you say it for me? And she said, oh, I, oh, and then she went, yarn balls. I said, you do, you do say it with a Texan accent. Yeah. Yeah. It has to be done when you're Spanish, isn't it? Yeah. It's funny, isn't it? Um, when, when Spaniards try to say certain things in English, they come out completely American, but sometimes Dutch. Which is even better. Yes. Anyway, so we have yarn bags here, don't we? We do. We can, we can make yarn bags. We have little kits here to make bags to Put your yarn in. receptacles for your yarn. But you know, I think with these little bags you could use them for all sorts of things. You yes. could put other things in there. I, I want to dive, I want, do want to dive in. Do it. I know we're not, I know technically. Oh, oh it's all right. Actually, it'll only need a staple, Kirsty, to fix this again. It'll be fine. You don't have to give me that look. It's all good. <laughs> she doesn't really. She's lovely. Um, look, so actually, you could use that for lots and lots of different things. Actually, do you know what? If you're making your own little gift hampers, yes, bits and pieces, yes, they could pop in crafty there. bits and but pieces. But you could keep all sorts of things in there, couldn't of course you? you could. Yeah, they got little gathers, yeah, on them as well, just to sort of bring it together. Yeah, well, that's so quite cute, so we're isn't getting it? Um, you get two kits of yeah, that, two. Don't you? So you get four of those four yarn on the go bags. Yarn on the go. Um, and then we've got these, the sleeves, jumbo yarn sleeves. Now they're a little bit like those things you um, you put over. You know when you should we go into those as well? Shall we? Mm. Yeah. Mm. Come on, let's do it. You know when you buy a bottle of hang on, something Derek, big. Hang on, HR are just calling. Hang on. Are they? They yeah. said. Uh, yeah, go home. It's a sackable they're, offense. They're saying to go open. home right now. Sackable offense to open. I'm sorry. I'm going to have to take over the whole. Day. Oh, okay. <laughs> All right, that's I fine. Didn't, I didn't know. Well, me. let me just show you this, and then you know when you buy a big bottle of something. And they yes. put it in something protective. Yes. That is like that something protective. <laughs> I and actually, like that you, as a decor. You, know, <laughs> you, just, you could be I've an interior designer. Some, I've just created some some home decor there. I'm gonna I'm gonna. Do you know what? I'm gonna put that there. Do. Dressed. Yeah. What do you I think? like it. 
Isn't that beautiful? I anyway, really you get three it. of those. Can I tell you, the thing in this kit that impresses me the most is something called sensor thread. Now, now this you're thinking, is amazing. Now, you thought, from the picture, yes. have a look at the picture on the, on the packet there, and you'll think, oh, they'll send me a pair of gloves. Yes. No. No. What we'll send you is sensor thread which you can then sew into the fingertips of your gloves that you have now and still be able, because this filament thread is conductive, which means that you can carry on using your mobile phone or your tablet and be able to swipe and use it whichever pair of gloves you have on. You, all you have to do is sew this in to the fingers so you can carry on then swiping. And you now, know, how it's, good is that? it's a shame that Christmas has just gone because yes, that is, it is a perfect stocking for You're that. You're so right. Because um, I've looked at these gloves that you know you can use your tablets and phones and stuff and they're like big black chunky gloves with these, and I'm like I don't want to use those. They're ugly gloves and they gloves. look special mm. don't they? Do you mm. know what I mean? Where with this you can sew this filament thread yep. into any pair of gloves. So you might have a pair of gloves a bit like Linus Blanket they're the ones you always go to. They're the ones you've been wearing for years and years and years. You manage to keep them as a pair forever. Mm. And you love them. You just sew some of this filament thread into the fingertips of the, of the glove. And then that will allow you to carry on using your mobile phone. Which, let's face it, is, well, more important to life these days than Anything. water itself, yeah. it seems, doesn't it? Yeah, I'm constantly on, your phone. on my phone. Oh, I'm terrible. Yeah. I live on my on my phone. If Even I, to not yeah. have it here, I feel <gasps> bereft. That's why I picked up the, uh, yes. the iPad right now. Tell us, is anybody coming through? Oh, uh, is anybody lots, coming through, Jerry? Lots and lots of people. Dave's there this morning. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see if there are any messages coming from beyond. I can hear you. Um, actually, loads. Sorry, I'm having to scroll and scroll and scroll. Uh, Sylvia's with us this morning, and Helen. Uh, Cheryl is there as well. Carol. Hello, Carol. And lots more of you as well. Oh, I'm, I'm off, apparently. Am I going somewhere? I'm going, I'm going to see... Are you leaving see, me already? I'm going to see... I'll be back, though. How dare you run but off I've with another woman? I've got to find out what I'm doing in the next hour. I will be back, though. <laughs> in the meantime, let's have a quick look at Graphic 45. <laughs> Welcome to Club G45 from Graphic45, the monthly tutorial kit that allows you to create some of the most beautiful projects by accessing a step-by-step -step video viewable online. This month's tutorial is the Club G45 Life's a Journey Wrap Folio and Tag Trio kit, containing the Life's a Journey Wrap Folio and the Life's a Journey Tag Trio kit projects. You'll get almost everything you need to create these projects from scratch, including access to this month's step-by-step -step video tutorial and accompanying project sheet. Simply order yours by purchasing item number 176628 for £42.99, plus your postage from herchanda.com. Or give us a call on 01733 60 for instant access to this month's Club G45 from Graphic45. Good morning, Ho Chanda. It's lovely, lovely to have your company this morning. And hello, Lou Sims. Hello. How are you? I'm fine, thank you. A bit early. I, but... It is a bit early, isn't mm. it? But you know what? I've, I've, we, we met about mm, about three quarters of an hour ago, mm. and we had a quick chat about what's coming up in the next hour with that's crafty, <laughs> and two things happened. First of all, I love you, <laughs> and secondly. <laughs> Um, you're going to get me involved, aren't you? We are, With yeah. what we do. We've got the most gorgeous rice papers coming up in the next we hour, have. haven't we? Yeah, so we're going to focus on next hour and really upcycling things and making quick, easy projects, but having a look at what we've got around us. So I thought you and I can have a go at upcycling a different glass vase with the actual rice papers. I've got that ready for Which you. Which is a really, really good idea because if you, like Lou, has have been gifted uh, recently or, you know, you're waiting to finish something like a re-diffuser mm. bottle or a, an old candle jar that you think, well, the candle's done, but I'm not throwing it out. There's no way that's going out in the in the recycling. No, and it's, it's a, this one was just a hefty weight jar, and I thought, brilliant. Yeah. So we can have a go with the rice paper, so we can have a go at some of the techniques, using the gel mediums to add them on. I can't, I can't <laughs> wait, because uh, you know I like to get stuck in as well. So we've got to do those, and then I'll show you how to make a, 
a tag book using some of that crafty MDF tags and we'll have a go at canvas as well. Brilliant. Um, let me just show you, if I may, Lou, just take that bottom <laughs> rice paper, yeah. just give you an idea, just a very, very small impression of just the quality mm. of the rice papers that we are looking at. And this is just one of a massive, mm. huge selection of the most different. And I felt rice papers before, and actually there's something a little bit more of a gravity to this yes. feel of yeah. rice paper. Like, you can play with it, you can pull it, you don't feel like it's going to disintegrate on you, even when you put all your different mediums on. It's got a lovely fibrous content it's to it. It's beautiful, it really is. And, and you can see how you can, I, yeah. how you can finish the edging just Beautifully. Sorry, Lee, I'm no, causing you're chaos fine. already. <laughs> Not even started the hour yet. Um, so, what have you done to create that, that sort of feathering uh, edge to this? I've just used um, water on a paintbrush. Okay. And just gone around the outline and then gently pulled it away from the backing paper. But you can cut them out as well. You don't. You don't have to do that technique. It, it, you you can cut them out. You can layer them up on top of each other. It's the feathering is nice when you want to blend it into a background. Mm -hmm. So it, it it just blends a little bit easier. So. It, it's just using the papers in different ways, but we'll have a go. You'll have a go as well with the water technique. Oh, I, I can't <laughs> wait. Seriously, so Lou, you'll be with us in uh, 20 minutes' time. I will. When I'll zip from here uh, to next door. In fact, let me show you what is on the show as well. So if you have a look at hochanda.com right now, you can shop ahead of us. Thank you very much, Lou. I'll let you carry on preparing. Um, so... <laughs> There's lots to prepare in the next hour, especially if you're dealing with me, you poor thing. Uh, so that's what's coming up in the show. You can shop ahead through the whole day and see the shows that are coming up as well. Amazing one day special as well, which we'll see again at uh, nine o'clock this morning. It's going to be absolutely incredible. Right. I can't wait to show you one of the many incredible seven day savers. What, 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 me again? What, me again? Oh, okay. Enjoy your coffee, Rachel, it's fine, it's fine. It's fine, I'll do this, it's fine. I've got it. Right, let me show you something incredible. Now, um, I actually, I, I, I did put my hand up and I did say, oh, please, 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 let me show everyone at home this beautiful um, set that we've got. If you've ever thought of um, wire working, Wire working to make jewellery is incredible. It opens up your world amazingly. If you've ever wanted to make your own pieces of jewellery, this is such a brilliant starter set. You will need some other tools. You will need some pliers to manipulate the wire, etc., etc. But if you want to make hammered wire jewellery, you've kind of got everything that you need here to be able to do that, which I think is really, really good. Now, the one thing I need to know, um, Lottie, does it have the gauge of the wire on there, does it does it tell you the gauge of the wire? Right, I, I thought it was a one millimeter gauge wire actually, but it's not. It's 1.5 millimeter gauge wire, and you are getting one, two, three, four, five. Does it say the lengths, Lottie, there as well, of each? Right, you get 20 meters of each of these colored wires. They're 1.5 millimeter gauge. So you've got the red, you've got that lovely soft green, you've got a black, which is a brilliant structural wire, this wonderful tealy blue, and this gorgeous, gorgeous purple. Now, if you think one, two, three, four, five, that's 100 meters of 1.5 millimeter gauge wire. Now, you, for anyone that, that, that knows, you know, I've talked jewelry making elsewhere on TV before, that on its own for 24.99, I would be happy to tell you is an amazing deal but on this seven day saver you also get your hammering block as well you get your steel hammering block which is brilliant plus the hammer which has three heads on it as well so you've got a larger rounder tip to to it you've also got a softer one as well more of a, a sort of um, nylon head and you've got a finer detailing um, hammered head as well um, plus the actual I won't do that too often uh, oh hello that'd be good for the auctions wouldn't it Sold. Thank you very much. Um, there you go. Plus, 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 plus. Um, right. Can I just tell you the cover price on this book, which is How to Make Hammered Wired Jewellery by Linda Jones. Thank you, Linda. Um, the cover price for the book alone is twelve ninety nine. So you're getting all of this as a seven day saver for twenty four ninety nine. I'll have a quick flick through the book and just show you because it will just give you the techniques and some amazing inspiration incorporating beads, making different shapes.
working on um, hammering, making a lovely Cleopatra's collar there with, with just the wire. Um, and once you've started, and you'll just need some flat nose pliers, some round nose pliers, um, and probably some chain nose pliers as well. Maybe a bale maker would be useful, but you can pick up all of those kind of things very, very simply and very, very easily as well. So I think actually for any of our jewellery makers out there, if you haven't yet got yourself a, a steel block, then absolutely use this seven day saver as an opportunity to have your block and your hammer as well with the three tips. Um, plus 100 meters of 1.5 millimeter gauge colored wire. You've got the red, the green, the black, the blue, and the purple there as well. I think that's incredible. It's a ridiculous deal. And remember, it's only good until 8 a.m. on Sunday morning until stocks last. So, 125226. So, so excited. I really, really want this one as well. £24.99. Right, okay. Even though the sun isn't going to officially come out today, I don't think so in many places, let's do some more of our sunrise specials. Yes, indeed. There is plenty more to see. There's a piece of pearly paper here. We don't know why. That's from, that's from yesterday with Janice and, and Natasha. What's Was it yesterday or the here? day before? I don't know. I don't know why that's still there. I don't know. Can I just say that jewellery um, kit that you were doing there, that's incredible value, isn't it? Ridiculous. When you were talking about that, because I've done a bit of jewellery yeah, as yeah, well, yeah. and you think, wow, that's, it's half the stock gone. Yeah, I'm not I'm surprised. Sure. In, in well, what, three minutes? I mean, that's incredible. Usually, I'm just going to bring that back in for a second. Mm. Oh. Usually, when you buy um, coloured wires, the biggest gauge you can usually go to is about a 1 mil gauge. So 1.5, that's jumbo. And usually, uh, a 1 millimetre gauge is sold in 5 metres, and you're getting 20 mm. of each of the, the colours. It's a lot. JustSaying.com. Yeah, just saying. Hochanda.com. Pick up the phone. Give us a call. Uh, but uh, yeah, that's a good. That's a good one. Mm -hmm. But uh, yeah, yeah, the price really will disappear. <gasps> right, back to the koala. They're still sleeping. Oh, bless. Aren't they cute? Let's they turn are. them around so they're the right way around. Oh, oh that's Rex the joint as well. Yeah, I yeah. Should we open it up again? Yeah, why not? Come on. Because I think it's quite good for people to see how much you are getting because it is a lot. And we were saying you can make some lovely, um, you know, fleecy uh, feeling pajamas out of Gorgeous. this. Gorgeous. It is a lot of fabric. Beautiful cornflower blue. Bye, Derek. Oh, bye. Hi. You should do the, um, the trick. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I don't know what that trick is. Well, how do they do? Yeah, I don't know. Show me. I don't, I don't know. <laughs> do something like that. Don't I don't know. Loving your work. Uh, yeah, yeah. Thank you. Available for parties for hire. Very good. <laughs> <laughs> Very good. Oh, Beautiful so yeah. fabric. Yeah. I absolutely love it. I mean, it's so kit and soft as well, isn't it? Should I just model it as a pair of pajamas? Yeah, why not? Look, can, yeah, I, just, why not? Should, can I just step forward? I'll, Is that I'll, possible? I'll step back. You, you step forward. Can you imagine? Look, <laughs> if that was, I know this is a bit bizarre, but look, can you imagine? Look. That'd be a. That'd be a. I, could, I tell you what, I could yeah. walk around the house in those. Do you think you'd do both legs? <laughs> I think it would be odd if I had just one leg <laughs> with a bit of elastic on the top. <laughs> Might look a bit odd. <laughs> Whoa, dear. Right. Okay, this is my new friend, oh, Rachel Pierman. Too funny. I'm never coming for dinner. <laughs> just saying that now. She doesn't know the difference between a spatula and a whisk. <laughs> And she's walking around with pyjamas that are only one leg and a piece of elastic. <laughs> Good. So it's a look. Uh, Ten pounds. Now remember, bear in mind that works out at two pounds fifty by the half meter, uh, and this is forty-four inches wide as well, which is really, really good. If you want to buy multiple units of this as well, I think I'm right in saying that from perfect occasions they will cut the yardage for you as well. Uh, it may come as individual pieces, two meters. It may come as one. I'll wait a wise word. If, in fact. You can always check with the team anyway on 01733602000. I thank you. I have no idea what I've just said, by the way. <laughs> I was looking for the phone number on there, but it sort of just flips around. It flips around, it? yeah. It comes when it feels like when it, it feels pops like around. It. Yeah, there most, it is. There it is. Look, most people do it on the web, of course, don't they? Hachanda.com. Yes, they do. Anyway, lovely. Grab that while you can. Uh, that, uh, yes, is a very good price. Let's have a look at this wire, as Derek said when he walked over and said, now we have wire. wire. Now, that doesn't sound very exciting, but I have to say, I was astonished by your uh, description of how mm. you could use these, yeah. this wire um, and your demonstrations.
because you actually made a little balloon yes. <laughs> live on air yeah. uh, by uh, and nearly look, a heart. Yeah, like this. <laughs> but but in all seriousness, you could you could make lovely shapes for your cards. You could use it yeah. on your borders. I mean, there are so many. Do you think you could do any jewelry making with that? Could yeah, you definitely. Thread beads on? You could make a friendship kind of woven friendship bracelet with that. Yeah, really, really nice. Like you platters. could incorporate beads. Yeah, and because it's got like a fabric outer to it, it's almost like a cotton outer to this. Yeah. Um, it would feel lovely against the skin. So, oh, sorry, you're over there. I always look at the telly instead of the camera. I don't know why here. Do you do it as well? No. Do you know what I was in the other day, though? In the other studio, you've yeah. got the cameras, and then there's like a big black thing on top of the camera. Yeah, you're looking at that instead and of the you know, lens. And, you know, the old-fashioned cameras were bigger. Yes. So I was looking into that, thinking it was a lens, and then, no, I realised that was a lens. If you ever think, I wonder what it is they're looking at. Yeah. For me, it's always the telly that's next to the camera. You're <laughs> the camera. There's a telly over there. Sorry. <laughs> anyway. So for this, you get three lots of 50 metres. You get a white, you get an ivory, and you get a black in this. So there are three different colour tones there as well. And that's why I say that weaving this together would be really nice if you're weaving the different colours together. Yes, absolutely. It'd be yeah. really nice. I'm you can have a core it. wire of maybe a, a black and use the white and the ivory on the outside. It's also great for if you're making... Um, tiaras and bits and pieces, you want, to doing, you want to do something like a lovely tiara twist um, for pearls, for a, uh, for a fascinator, that's the word I'm looking for, fascinator, for a day at the races. Oh, we can't see it, can you? Oh no, you're not going to do a homemade fascinator now as well, no, are no. you? Do you want to put your pyjamas back on for this? <laughs> I could see you at your race course. She's got a bit of wire hanging out of her hair and she's got one leg. I'm the crazy lady! Sleeping koala. Is there anybody coming through? <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's your antenna. I see. Right. Let's hope <laughs> yeah. you get the right signal. Uh, four eight six eight two one. The signal that's coming right now from upstairs is off. Uh, Twelve ninety eight. Right. Let's do some trim then. Oh no! You're not going to add these to your pajamas, are you? <laughs> and then do some. <laughs> Just to give it a bit of sound as well. Dancing around. <laughs> you're you're so coming to my house for oh. dinner. Oh, no, that's never We're happening. We're going to have a lovely time. Yeah, no, that's never happening. <laughs> I'm just going to put that out there right now. Thanks for the invite, but no thanks. <laughs> it's been lovely to meet you, but as soon as 7.57 comes, I'm running next door. Um, these are lovely, aren't they? You get three lots of one metre. Gorgeous trimmings here. Where would these... I, I hasten, I don't know if I should even ask this, but where would these... Grace and adorned in your <laughs> in your abode. Well, as you were saying, yes. I apart think... from your pajama leg <laughs> pajama and leg. your boots <laughs> and your boots, you could put them on cards. You could put them on lampshades. You could put them on the bottom of a blind. I mean, I think there are so many different ways to use them. And of course, you don't have to keep it in one long strip. You know, you could just take off little bits. You could even embellish cards with these little sort of things in here, couldn't yes. you? And and do things like that. I have to um, say as well, uh, in all seriousness, talking about clothing, a lot of clothing uses layering um, where the, the fabric, an extra piece of fabric layers across the body because it's very, very flattering. And it might be a way of edging one of those, one of those um, diagonals. I've still got a straight face saying this, by the way. Uh, I hope you've noticed that. Uh, but yeah, actually quite a lot of fashion does have that yeah. sort of yes diagonal yes across the body thing it's very flattering isn't it yes and you could use this for that just as easily anyway that's just a boy talking you don't have to take the advice no and as what was the lady called i can't remember her name she said that she just she likes it she doesn't know she why doesn't know it why. doesn't matter no, it doesn't just matter buy them 9.99 instead of 19.99 so about half the price uh for three meters in total because you get all three and you could cut into them use them as a strip it's one of those things that you just have in your crafty stash and then one day you'll go those, those, yes, I'll get those out. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. And that's a reason to have it, isn't it? Nine ninety nine. Right, OK, let's whiz on okay. to our leather and fabric. And you do get an awful lot here as well. Yeah, now these are fantastic value. Um, and they're 12 centimetre squares. Really beautiful colours. Very, very pliable um, leathers and suede's here. And they are leather and suede, aren't yes. they? They're not faux. Yes, they are. They they're are. Not, they're, no, they're not faux. They're not pleather. Yeah. They are the real deal. They are. Which is lovely. Mm -hmm. um, and they're, they're really, really good rich thick leathers as well you know some leathers you would think in a swatch kind of situation would be very very sort of thin and sort of melt away do you know what I mean have no body no substance to them but these really are I mean listen I'm giving that a good old yeah and it's and it's there and equally with the fabrics as well this is the kind of fabric that you back some of the 
heaviest traffic upholstery sort of chairs and sofas and things like that in. These are th it's kind of like the industrial. Yes. Well, we were saying about how you would use these, you know, in terms of yes, you could do the patches, the the teachers' jumpers, yeah. um, you know, on the on the sleeve. Yeah. Um, you could use them on knees and things like that. But also, as we were saying, you could use them in jewellery making, like making little cabochons and things. Yes. You could use them for your card making, die cutting. So I think it's one of those things that once again you will have and you will cut into and you will use. Bag makers will love that. Bag absolutely, makers. making a patchwork mm. bag out of that would be absolutely brilliant. Yes, wouldn't you it? actually could. Yeah. Um, £12, which is brilliant. Let's have another look at one of your seven-day savers, I think I heard. <laughs> yes. Uh, which are cards and envelopes from Pink Frog. We love Pink Frog. They are amazing. They give us some of the most incredible deals. Well, there you have got your pearlescent card and envelope collection. Seven by sevens, 120 and 300 GSM. 100 pieces in total works out at 20 pence per card and envelope, which is ridiculous. So take advantage of that. And our other seven day savers you can find on the website at hochanda.com. Someone has just suggested, Rachel. That we leave. Well, no. Actually, they've been very kind, actually. Um, hello, Marcia. Hello, as well, Marcia. Who's excited to meet everyone. Um, Heather says, I think we should have Hochanda celebrity dinner date. Dinner, that would be great. As long as you're not cooking. <laughs> I mean, like, listen, I've never tasted one of your dishes, but, you know, <laughs> just have this feeling. Anyway, let's go back to parties in the meantime. Cakes, that's fine, isn't it? Cakes is all fine. Cakes is dead easy, isn't it? Now, you've got the candles here, you've got the cupcake cases. There's so much, isn't there? I think there, was five, there were 553 cupcakes, as I remember, wow. which is a lot. And then, like you say, your candles and all your sort of little decorations and things as well. Look, these are good. You sort of stick them in the top of the cakes. But, you know, if you, as I say, if you go to a supermarket, you would easily spend £30 on these, which should be the price. But £14.30 and pence today for the lot. So that's very good indeed. Love it. And we can't leave this hour without you demonstrating demonstrating again your culinary skills with a whisk. <laughs> now, as you were saying, there's a lot of wobble action in there. There's there a lot is. of movement that is very good when you are whisking and aerating. Oh, oh get you. you see, I'm warming up now. It's 8 Get you with your fluffy meringues. <laughs> yeah, aerating. <laughs> um, so, yeah, you have got a 10-inch and a 13-inch. You also have your spatulas. I am on it now, Derek. Yes. Come on, baby. Got it uh, now. One has a recipe on it for, what was the recipe for? A cake. A cake. There we go. Of nature's. Um, yeah, so you've got those. You've got your chocolate there. Uh, these will also withstand 230 degrees centigrade, which means that you can use them with your melted things. Well remembered. And in your dishwashers. You see, I am remembering And now. you've also got the little, um, the little sh shovel, as I delicately called it. Mm, which is actually this a little mini spatula. Yes for getting the last remnants of your melted chocolate out of the bowl without having to put your head in to lick it. Absolutely. There you go. <laughs> I tell you what, what's that song? It's all coming back to I me I know. Oh, we're good. It's taken 55 minutes. It has, but we've warmed up. We're ready to go. But it's good because we've got most of the day here. Yes, we have. We have which is really terrible for you. It's great for us, though. We get paid for this as well. Um, OK, let's move on to our yarn bags. We'll have a little yarn about these before think, we yes. go. Yes, and you could pop all sorts of things in here. We said that it doesn't have to be yarn, does no. it? It can, it can be little gift, <laughs> gifts that you put together for people. I was going to put that on your head well, for you a second. shower there. cap, maybe, <laughs> yeah. to go with your pyjamas. Actually, it would go with the koala fabric. Hang on, <laughs> hang on. Are you dressing me up? Yes, I am. I can't get this on my head. <laughs> I'll happily do it, but I can't. I can't. Shower cap. You're going to look like Victoria Wood in one of those sketches, aren't you? I can't you? get it on my head. I just... Okay, but but you, you, they go though, don't they? They do go. Anyway, where were do we? Do you know one day I I had a television career. I did. Oh, I did. I, do, I think mine's in no. this bottom drawer somewhere. I think. <laughs> <laughs> Can I just show you oh, the one thing? This is more fun though. Than oh, that. this is brilliant, brilliant. This is, they call this work, you know. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> this is the best thing I think for me in this whole little kit because this thread here this. is called filament thread and yes. what you do is you sew it into the fingers of your gloves and that allows you 
to use your um, mobile phone and your tablet while still wearing your snuggly, lovely gloves. Yeah, that is that is genius. And it's only £9 for the lot. Quite frankly, I'd pay that for that and put in my gloves and be able to use my phone. But you get all these bits and pieces. I must just show you this vase that Derek... <laughs> <laughs> because it's you get part of the kit. These and it look, goes over, but it just... Yes. You know, that's, it doesn't have to go over a vase. Of course, it would keep your yarn together. But they're, yeah. they're crap. I like that. They're I cracking. Know. And you get, what, uh, how do, you get three of those as well. You get one in yeah. a lovely green, one in an orange and one in a purple as well. Which is really good. And you think, where on earth do I buy something like that? Well, now you know. Hochanda. Hochanda. A pleasure, darling. I'll, An I shall bump into pleasure. you through the day. You shall. Um, and I'll see you uh, next door in around about three minutes' time. That was so much fun. It was. Loved it. Well, he's now running in my running style to get next door for you, our lovely Derek. But look, you can see all that coming up. 13 Arts, Studio Light One Day Special with me, but now Paper Designs. Flexi Order has arrived at Hachanda. What is Flexi Order? When you place an item on FlexiBuy in your basket, you qualify for Flexi Order which means any other items you add to your basket will also be included in your FlexiBuy payments, so you can spread the cost over multiple monthly payments. After your first payment is made, your entire order will be dispatched. When you add at least £60 worth of any items to your shopping baskets, either online or on the phone, you'll qualify for a Flexi Order offer. This means you can spread the cost of your order over equal monthly FlexiBuy payments, offering you the extra flexibility when you shop with us. Flexi Order, making your shopping experience with Achanda easier. Hi, I'm Hayley. Join me for some amazing Fabric Freedom shows. Fabric Freedom design all their fabrics here in the UK and they design them with quilters in mind so they're really good at picking out those unidirectional prints. Really nice and small prints so you can work on smaller patchwork projects and paste prints as well which is one of their signature fabrics. They do lots more fabrics besides quilting cottons so tune in to the Fabric Freedom shows here on Hachanda. Would you like to improve your crafting techniques by watching and crafting along with your favourite Hachanda guest demonstrators or from the comfort of your own home? If the answer is yes, then we are excited to invite you to Craft Along, where you, our presenters and guests, will create an amazing array of projects throughout the year. Each month we will be bringing you a brand new kit that you can purchase on the day of each show. Or, if you pre-order your kit, you will receive £5 off a purchase of £20 or more of any additional products featured within our Craft Along brand shop that month. So tune in, be inspired and create with Craft Along, your monthly crafting workshop. Hola, good morning, hello, hello Lou. Hello again. How are you? Fine, thank you. Thank good, you. Good, Looking good, forward good, to good. Oh, This is brilliant. I mean, this is, this <gasps> is, for anyone who hasn't yet ventured into working with rice paper, by the end of this hour you definitely will, mm, I and think. There is so much choice. There is oh, actually gosh. something for absolutely everyone in the, yeah. all the different collections and all the different pick and mixes that you can do. It's <gasps> and I have to say, from, from other rice papers that I've seen, I'm never knocking one against mm. another, but there is something different about what we have here. Paper Creations have bought us these mm. rice papers and they, um, they have that wonderful, wonderful body to it. They do. They're very, very fibrous. In fact, if I just show you one of, of one of the set, which is called mm. Old Maps, which is one of the um, uh, selections, and there are five different rice papers in each option, which I'm going to show you in just a moment. But can you see, you can see the fibre mm. content, can't you, of the rice paper itself. You can see that texture. You and it means you're going to be able to use it with all your different mediums. Yeah. And you're, you're, 
you don't have to think of it as being too delicate. No. You, you, you can, I mean, not treat it rough, but I mean, you can actually tear into it, you can cut into it, layer it all up, and it's not going to pucker up or wrinkle. It's stunning. Mm. It's got such a lovely body to it. I mean, these are great, aren't they? This is the old maps option. Oh, it's lovely. Um, and it's wonderful. It looks like it's already 300 years old, which I love. <laughs> I love that. Well, the, vintage, that. the vintage look about yeah, it. Yeah, it's got yeah. that inst instant vintage to yeah. it, which I love. Let's go through some of the others. Let's go, let's go for grunge, because this is the edgiest, I think, of the options that we've got here, the grunge. So you've got a full... <laughs> we were having some great <laughs> ideas earlier <laughs> of what you could do uh, with this, but I think it would be lovely, lovely, lovely for greetings, wouldn't it? Because you've got the whole yeah, font. Yeah, and your own bespoke greeting so if you were yeah. doing something like a notebook or even a journal page you you can actually put on what you want so you've got um lowercase and uppercase you're so making headlines you can make headlines yes, couldn't you, you? Could. for cards and greetings and then you've got i mean that background is beautiful there, there are so many layers in that background with the delicate writing in it and the same again with this one. Oh, look at that yeah you've got so many different layers it's hard to believe that it's actually flat that reminds me of being in the uh, Al alhambra palace with all mm. the um or the, the wonderful, yeah, the tiled mosaics. Mm. Beautiful. So that's the grunge option. I'll run you through all of them, and then you can have a closer look on, on, the, uh, on the web, of course, at hochanda.com. This is Butterflies and Bees. That's beautiful, isn't and it? And this is very serene, but isn't when it? When you look at that paper, you've got one, two, three, four, five, six flowers yep. that you could actually pull out individually. Two butterflies. So it's not just, don't think about it as just one paper. No. There's what, seven, eight elements. Again, with that one there, you've got like two of the butterflies flying down. So you could actually pull those out, the major butterflies. It doesn't have to be one whole piece if you don't want it to be. <gasps> look, 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 look. I know. Oh, gosh. I Do you know what I like about this one? You've got the mirror images. Yes. So if you were doing a double page in, in your art journal, you've actually got the mirror images. Isn't that stunning? Oh, my word. It just gets better and better and better. I mean, she's beautiful, isn't this she? This is butterflies and bees, by the way, the option that we're looking at right now. Isn't, Isn't that amazing? Absolutely beautiful. Incredible artwork, it really is. Let's turn this one around. And then this right one, way. you've got all the different tiles. So it, you've got a whole piece for an A5, or you could do an A6 page, mm -hmm. or, or you can just pull out different elements from it. Right, let's have a look at one of the other options. Remember, there are five different rice papers in each of the options here, so I'm running you through them relatively quickly, just so that we, we've got an opportunity to have a good look at all of them. This is called Rusty Time. So this is a little bit steampunk, this, isn't it? I like this. I do as well, but you can also pull out all those individual clocks if yeah, you wanted clocks, to. Yeah. So you, you could layer them up on top of each other. You could use those with the maps, couldn't you? Oh, yeah, really, really nice. Maps, compasses, yeah. clocks, yeah. cogs. And then you've got these wonderful textured now, see, backgrounds. I, this is lovely. I love this. We, we're going to do it. Hopefully, do a demo this afternoon with these. But I've actually put um, some of the, the textured paste behind it, and then the rice paper on top. Yeah. So that actually peeks through, and it looks wonderful. It's it's stunning, and I, I love how a lot of the dip, different options mm. all work together beautifully. Oh, oh, I mean, that one is colours. Isn't it stunning? It's like a, a bronze patina, isn't it? Yeah, I love that. Beautiful. And the way they graduate into each other. And then this one is another one that's... You could cut them out as individual panels. You don't have to use it as one whole sheet. So there, if you, if you use those as individual rectangles, you've got oodles there for projects. It's gorgeous because it has that lovely sheen to it as well. That was rusty time. And then we're going to fairies next. There we go. Right, so let's have a little look through this. Remember, you get five of these fabulous uh, papers in each of the options that you can see here. I think for nine ninety nine as well, Lou. I mean, listen, I'm not familiar with pricing of no, things very, like this. No, it's very well but priced. It, it does seem amazing priced, for the, yeah. just for the artistry. The artistry, but also it's looking at the pages. So you've got the fairy there, but you had two or three other branches yes. that you can pull out. So you don't have to use it as one whole image. You can, but you can actually extend it. To, you know, to do Gosh, multiple. I love this image. What with the butterfly? I love but look this how many image. tiles you've got on that, that page. It's stunning. It, it's, it's absolutely beautiful. And, and again, if I just turn one mm. the wrong way around again, you can just see how rich and how mm. fibrous that usually a rice, rice paper has less gravity mm. to it, is a lot finer. You feel like you would need to be a lot more delicate with it. These feel like they're really, mm. really sort of tough yet serene. Do you know what I'm saying? Yes, you don't lose any of the beauty. No. I, lo I, I love the, this one. I think it's just the whimsical look about this one. We're using but this later, aren't we? We are, yeah. yes. Um, and I just like that the designs are in different sizes. Oh, gosh, look at that for a carnival of colour. I, isn't it beautiful? But then 
use these if you're not sure what colors to use you've got colors there to give you straight away so grab all your paints in your inks and use the the rice papers as your starting point to add the colour to your pages. And you were uh, talking earlier, Lou, about you could literally transfer one of those images directly to a canvas. Which is what we're going to have a go at, This yes. would be perfect for yep. that, wouldn't it? Yep. Absolutely. I'd love that. I mean, Liz, I would love that in my, in my life. I mean, either of those. I think this is lovely. Lovely and wild and bohemian. This is all from the fairies option as well, by the yep. way. And Beautiful. I have one more option to show you, um, and it's the animals. And they are here. <laughs> That's the cats, isn't it? There we go. So this is the animals option. Now, over 10% of the animals option has already sold out wow. and gone. Now, you might recognise your, uh, your own little bundle of joy in but there. Even though they're tiles, cut the cat face out and then the wording so you now can layer mm. it in a different way. You don't have to think of the tile as the tile. Yeah. You, there's lots of different ways oh, of actually sorry. using them. There you go. So we've got cats. And look, oh, the you've got hops. the dogs there as well. So whichever side of the fence you sit on, maybe it's both. Because <laughs> a lot of people are either cat people or dog people, aren't they? We used to have cats, now we've got a dog. Right, so. see, see and, and I'm the other way around, because I have cats right now, and one day when I have more time in my life, it will be dogs. <laughs> well, it'll probably be both, actually, in fairness, because once you've had a cat, yeah. you kind of... Yeah, yeah, they're, they're more it. independent. Oh, I, I, I love them. But they've all got their own lovely little character as well. Oh. Again, imagine this with any of the other options, with the grunge option. Um, Some of the background papers that we yeah. had here for that, that would be lovely for that one. Sort of, where's one? And also for the rusty time um, uh, option as with well. That one, with the it. old maps. They You've all got the work. Blues. Yes, let's, let's bring that so one you've in. You've got with the that blues. One, yeah with that one that. there straight away so they work together yeah, and that's from the grunge and that's from the animals and so then you can you've mix got the, match. the clock there which yeah. also because you've got the oranges and the reds lower down in the pan so they work so you can take from one of the butterflies time. and put it inside the clock yeah so like it's flying away with it's hands of time and again it. use it with the old maps as well it might be you know you can make a relation between the two very very easily but um take one of the butterfly images out and even with the fairies <laughs> Paste yeah. the butterfly behind and she's got wings. Yeah. Yeah. So, it, so you can Here's actually... some more butterflies as well. Yeah. <coughs> That's beautiful as well. All the different Madame colours in Madame Butterfly. There. Beautiful. I love it. And it's really, really cute. Love, 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 love um, all of these. They're absolutely gorgeous. Um, let's have a look at all of the different options then that you have for this. There are six different options. There are five different rice papers in each options. So you've got old time... You've got the maps, haven't you? Old maps, butterflies and bees, grunge. You've got rusty time and fairies. Thank you, Lou. We make a great team. We got there. We got there between us. Let's go play. Let's go play, shall we? Go and do some. Uh, go do some demos. There's your fairies right now. That's the fairies options there. A quarter of the stock of that one has sold out and gone already. I'm not at all surprised. Grunge is great because if you want to take those letters out and make headlines, make sentiments with them, um, just beautiful. And again, I can see these in all of you. There's the Rusty Times option there as well. And the last one is the old maps. And the old maps, I think I have to say, the Rusty Time and old maps, I think they're my favourites so far. But listen, I'm going to be swayed many different <laughs> ways in this hour, I'm sure, Luke. <laughs> right, we're going to, I thought, we'd have a play together. Oh, right, and as okay. I said, We've got these glass jars, they were like the re-diffusers, yeah. and they're a good way, and I didn't want to, you know, bin them. I think a lot of us crafters have a box of, when I have time, I will do. Stuff. Yeah, and some <laughs> things, so the show came along, and I was like, oh, brilliant. So yeah. what I thought we'd do is we'd have a go at taking some of the images out and decorating the um, actual glass jars. Perfect. But obviously, you would do it probably in a different way yeah. to the way I would do it. And, and I will, hopefully. <laughs> <laughs> so what I thought we'd need to do first of all, so I've taken the butterfly sheets, let's just move those for the moment, because okay. uh, I thought there's lots of different elements and I've cut these ones out because we can take lots of different elements to add to our jars. Because mm -hmm. I don't want to cover it all the way up, I still want to keep a certain amount of translucent so you can still see what the design is, if that yeah. makes sense. But one of the first things we're going to do is I'm going to just choose that bit there and I'm just going to draw around it and what I'd like you to do is choose where you would like your base because we're going to cut that out and stick it onto the bottom so the base uh, is decorated. So you can actually see it yeah, through so I, in the bottom. If I take that bit away okay. then that 
takes a bit of con the confusion from you. Okay. So if you choose what you would like on your jar, you've got these ones here as well, if you want to go for any of these. I might take this actually, which, which takes some of the smaller, there's sort of two sets of butterflies in there and there's lots of that lovely wording yeah. as well. So let's see. So we're just going to cut this out. Now you could go round, we are going to go round with a paintbrush as well, but just for the base, we'll just cut it out for speed. So do you prefer smaller or bigger scissors? Oh, I don't mind. <laughs> oh, I'll be just as bad with both. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> Let's see, I'm rubbish with scissors. Are you? Yeah. And oh. I'm actually cutting out far more than I need to because, of course, I'm being wasteful now. But it doesn't we matter. So, so we'll keep fine. those bits. All fine. Um, because there's any little detail left over, we can yeah. actually add to it. So get your um, brush. It is very, very busy just to let you know. So if while you're watching us, you, you've got an option um, in your mind, could I suggest that you check it out as quickly as you possibly can? Only be, I'm not saying that for any loaded reason. You know me. I'm 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 happy to just be <laughs> mesmerised by what's happening happening here. Um, but I also I don't want you to be missing out on designs which are absolutely beautiful uh, and stunning. See, did I tell you how rubbish I was with no. scissors? Move the paper, not the scissors. Oh, uh, is that the thing yeah, to do? Yeah, and then you get it quicker. Oh, uh, and then and then I'll get more of a circular shape. Okay. Well, there you go. There we go. Not as good as so, a wink, as they say. Yep. Right, brush. Right. Thing. We're going to use the um, Max Crafty gel medium as our glue. Okay. It's transparent. It will leave a lovely glossy finish, but it dries quickly. Okay. So all I like to put a layer down first and then put my thing on. So we're just going to we'll put that between us. Mm -hmm. Put a layer down on the jar. Don't worry if you go over the edges. The whole the whole of the base. The whole of the base. Okay. And then. It's remembering to put your image upside down. Oh yes, so almost like with fabric, it'd yeah. be right side up, wouldn't yeah. it? So we're just going to push that down. So and oh. then gently with your finger, just just, just place it in because it's going to because we've got a a dimple in the base. So you've got to it's follow going to, that. It, yeah, it's going to wrinkle a little bit because of that dimple, but that's fine. Could you have it just sitting flat? I suppose yeah, you it's could. not for the long term of it. I suppose it. Won't and then what we're going to do is just actually go over again. Oh, so that'll help seal that yeah. all, all the and wrinkles anyway. And also, when you when you get your paintbrush, if you where well, you've got a wrinkle, if you put a little bit of pressure, it will actually smooth out oh. the wrinkle. It'll make it look like it was the cunning plan all along. Oh no! Does that make sense? Yes. Yeah. Okay, I've just got to I've got to move it over a bit. So I'm just going to smooth out. Okay. <laughs> La, 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 la. So we're just smoothing it all out and just covering it. And this does dry. Don't worry if it goes over the edges as well, because that will be fine. I love how sparing I am with everything. <laughs> <laughs> I, could, I can go as lavish as I I could use that whole pot if I wanted to, but I, say, I guess that's a crafter's instinct as well, isn't it? What, to be I'm sparing? I'm going to be sparing because yeah, I, the more um, sparing I am, the more projects I can do. But I, I, I like to do little layers and, and lots of them because yeah. they dry quicker. So that's the only reason I'm probably a little bit more sparing. It's not because you have to be. Yeah. It's um, sometimes, you know, time isn't our best friend. No. And when you want to get things Especially done. Especially on telly. Yeah. So once we've got that done, I'm just going to smooth the edges now with my finger down. We're just going to put that to one side because we're just going to let that dry. It won't take long to dry. But if we stick it down. It'll stick to the table. Yeah. <laughs> Even so, I work that out. <laughs> I'm going to just put mine upside down like that, hence okay. why I chose these ones. Um, I just need to give you a very, very quick stock update on the fairies option here. 40% um, of that fairies option, I'll just show you there from a, a, from a distance. Considering we're, we're so early into the show, I'm not surprised that for me it's that imagery there that, that for me is just, I, I, I just love it. Remember there are five in that. And again, that is so beautiful and so many, remember, different size elements there as well of the same image, which you can take. Very bohemian, very, very, uh, it's very atmospheric, isn't it? I think that one in particular, this one and, and the other one. And, and we were talking about this one being able to transfer straight, straight to a canvas. Remember, mm. it's nine ninety nine for all five of those, and that's just one of the options. There are six options. Have a look at them all um, on the website at hochanda.com. 065880 is your item number here. Right. right. Got your paintbrush. I've just put ours in the water so it doesn't um, go too hard. And now we've got lots of the different images, and we're going to try and pull some of them out. You know, you were talking about the feathering. So yes. We're going to have a go with that. Okay. So if I 
So you pick whichever ones you want to do. You can do big, small. So all I'm going to do is with the paintbrush and some oh. water, it's gently go round. Now you can cut them out and you can still achieve the feathering. It doesn't okay, matter. So you, so you just outline what you want to take. Yep, outline what you want to take with some water. You got some water on it? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, that's ah, it. Ah, there we yep. go. So outline exactly what you want to take all right. the way round. Okay. Brilliant. Oh, oh, you've gone for the wording as well. That's nice. Yeah, I'm just going to incorporate a little bit of the wording in there and then just go around that butterfly. Okay. Yeah. And then if we very carefully, you can start pulling it away. Can you see how it's just gently feathering? Now, ah, if okay. you find it easier to cut the image out, cut the image out and then still put the water around. I'll do one in a moment, and you can still create that lovely feathering. Oh. Yeah. Oh, gosh, right, OK. <laughs> I've done it. Well, I'm doing it. OK, and then pick out another couple more images that you would like to do. OK. So if I cut one out, and then I can do the feathering as well. Just oh, to show gosh, look, I got exactly what I wanted there. There you go. And it, is all, and it really is. It's like, it's like I've just picked up a feather. The feathering is lovely. I mean, you can carry wonderful. on going with your fingers and feather yeah. it out even further. Yeah. Um, the feathering is lovely because it blends into a background. So pick out another couple more elements. So I cut this one out, and I'm still going to go around with my paintbrush around the actual design. So if, whatever you prefer to do to create it. And then I can still pull away the design, even though I cut it out originally. Mm -hmm. So it's, it's do it the way that works best for you, if that makes sense. Yes. Um, we all have our, you know, preferred ways of working. And you'll and you'll get to know the way the paper behaves. Yes. Straight away, and you don't have to be. I'm probably being too over precious with it, but you really don't have to be. You no, can be, no, it's 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 it's. You can be tough, quite isn't it? forceful with yeah. it. Yeah. I mean, look, see, I've, I've just done it again and just taken out the. Um, just a butterfly there on its own. And look at and that again, it looks beautiful like it's feathering. On a feather. Yeah. Now, if you wanted to as well, um, create a pearly effect. We've got the inks on. The inks would work exactly the same way. You have to shake them up. Mm -hmm. You could go round. I mean, they've got some beautiful pearlescent inks. Go round the outside. Let it sit a little bit longer, and you can tear away. So now you get a lovely pearlescent look around the edge, not just the. So you can add depth to your designs now, that way as well. Lou, I just have to tell you that you've broken one of the uh, one of the laws of shopping television. Oh, what's that? Which is you've said round the outside, but you've only <laughs> said it once. You oh. do actually have to say it three times. Oh, sorry. If you, if you uh, if you say it, it has to be said three <laughs> times. So if you could okay. just correct that as quickly as you could, okay, please. Okay, go round the outside. Go round the outside. <laughs> I feel like a dance move, so doesn't three, it? Sort of three times. And you go round the outside. Thank for you very much. Good yep. luck, mate. There you go. That's fine. Right. I, I think you'll be all right with the authorities now. Will I? You sure? Yep. Okay. Yep. So as you can see, so we're just going to carry on and just create lots of the different elements so now you've taken one sheet yeah. and there's still loads oh, left that you can yeah. actually use huge amounts um even down to some like you were pulling out some of the wording yeah there's loads of that to do but we'll make a start on actually getting our pots together so we can people can see what we're doing now i've torn that but that doesn't matter because i want to use that like that that's brilliant okay i'm going to put that to one side I, I am loving this. <laughs> Seriously, they're all laughing at me upstairs. They're, oh, they're waiting for the tongue to come out because I'm so concentrated. <laughs> How are you? <laughs> right. So I've just put the brushes that we were using for the gel medium in water so they wouldn't go too thick. Oh, okay, right. So we're just going to make a start because right. obviously you yes. can pull out as many, you know, as you want. Yeah. Um, so if we just make a, a little start, Sorry, then we can I've carry on. You're going to do some more. <laughs> Sorry, I've just got this little blue butterfly and it's just calling. It's don't, calling Don't you. leave me behind. Yeah, why, why are you leaving me? There and we I've go. just got some little bits right, there that gotcha. I want to use as well. Because gotcha, gotcha, these gotcha. are the wasty bits, but I'm still going to use them. Oh, they're brilliant. Yeah. I mean, I've taken some of the... It was basically up in the corner. It's a little bit of detail from up in the corner. And I've just taken that because I'm going to use it somewhere. But and it looks like a piece of fabric. Yeah, but Love even it. use the white. Because if you were going to write or stamp, you've now That's got a place perfect, to do it. Yeah, yeah, of course. It stands out. So don't think about yes. the edging as not being able to be used. Yeah. So it's still a little bit tacky, but as you can see, it's what's that been? Ten minutes? It's not too bad. I thought it was quite good for a first attempt. <laughs> oh, you mean uh, uh -huh. the glue? But look, <laughs> if you look down through it now, 
Yes. You actually get to see your design. I know. Do you want to have a look through it, through, <laughs> through the camera? Look. Look. Can you? Yeah. So, look. by decorating the bottom, you actually can see your design of the rice paper. And then we've protected it by putting that extra layer of gel on the top. So, we're, all we're going to do is, again, just decide what you want to do first. Mm -hmm. So, um, put your gel medium on. And then take your first image and put it in place and again go over with the gel if it wasn't, medium. If it wasn't um, uh, glass that we were we were working mm. with, what, what, what else what else could we work, be working with? Well, anything. MDF. Um, oh really? On our art journal pages, it could be oh, <laughs> cardboard boxes. You know, like sometimes you get some lovely boxes with presents in. Mm. Um, yes. well, and you get the acetate in there, you know, so you can yeah. see what's inside it. Yeah. Go round the outside you with said, those. Yeah, did you lots. say round the outside? I did, round the outside, <laughs> round the outside. I've said it three times now. <laughs> I'm going to think of a different phrase. Yeah. Now, all I've done is I haven't done all the way over here because I want to tuck something behind. Underneath it. Yeah, right. so, you, okay. so you can think about that. So I'm going to tuck a little bit of the, the decoration behind. So all we're doing is, is creating another collage. So from the sheets we've actually used. So you can go wherever you want to. Yep. I'm just going to be, I'm going to be a little bit quick here. No, that's only, fine. Be, only because I'll, I've got a, I've got an appointment down the other end <laughs> in a minute. So I'll, uh, I'll just have a. That's this it. Is, I could be doing this all day long though. And then you go. Did you say you go back over the? I over go back the top over it because the gel medium will, seal it. will act um, as a seal, but it also leaves a beautiful glossy finish. Ah. So it'll then make the um, your images stand out even further. And you go over the whole thing. Yeah, I go over the whole of the image that I've put down. So not just around the outside, no. around the outside, around the outside. <laughs> I see, I stopped there. I, I actually checked myself there. <laughs> Check yourself before you wreck yourself. Right? Yeah. That's so, the phrase, apparently. <laughs> so we're just going to. I need to go. I need to go down the other end. <laughs> so you just carry on building your design how you would like it to appear. That's it, brilliant. What do you think? Yeah, no, it's looking really, really good. I've got to add my blue one back in. But I'll wait for that to dry before I reveal to the world, you know. And I'll carry on. You know, before it goes into the gallery, <laughs> people start bidding against each other. We'll, uh, <laughs> we'll go and have a little look uh, at what's in the show. There are lots of other essentials as well that we've got here. So we've got Grab Glue here um, from That's Crafty as well. £10.99 pence for a pack of two there. Um, it's one at 125 milliliter and then a slimmer one there at 50 milliliter as well, £10.99. pence. Do make sure that you um, shop by brand as well because it's absolutely brilliant. I mean, that's crafty. I mean, it ha if it has these rice papers today, it's going to have everything that you need. So we've got the black gesso there as well. In fact, you can choose between black or white on that. So pick a mix of two of those for 9 99 So you can choose between any of those, the black and the white at 120 milliliter each for just 9.99. Right now back to these amaz uh, amazing rice amazing rice papers. Amazing rice papers. That's easy for me to say. Um, these are brilliant. Now there are six different options and in every single option there are five individual rice papers. The options um, are there on your screen. I'll take you through them again one by one and I'll just update you where we are in terms of stock as well. So old maps. Now for me this is just brilliant. I love this one because it's the one that instantly looks like it's 300 years old. I just adore it. And again if I just reverse one of these rice papers so you can just see just how fibrous they are and that's allowing us to do that feathering that we're doing right now which is amazing. You don't have to be particularly delicate with it either. So that's the old maps option. Nearly a third of the stock of those papers have already sold out and gone. And actually I'm not sure if we saw that on the first time around. I don't remember sort of seeing it in the same way. It's almost like seeing a film for the second time and then you see new things every single time. It's beautiful, isn't it? So that's old maps uh, at 9.99. That's one of the options there. Let's take you to the grunge option now because the grunge option is one of our favourites as well. Now this is the one with the letters um, in it so it has the, uh, the font in it as well. Almost in lovely, lovely sort of newsprint elements to it as well. I love it. I love the fact that it's got uh, 40,000 there. Uh, somebody made a suggestion earlier, if you wanted to write a ransom note, don't ever do that in reality, uh, please. But uh, we'll never advise that. But there you go. You've got a large number to start with if you wanted to. 
Luca, is that, do you think I could get 40,000 for a ransom for you? Oh, you, no. you never know. <laughs> Worth far more. There you go. Sorry, apologies. There you go. I'll show you the right way rail. Right way around. There you go. <laughs> I'll show you the backs. Listen, the backs is backs as good as the front, isn't it? There you go. There's that one, that lovely mosaic tile. So that's the grunge option, all five of those. Let's go to butterflies and bees. Here is butterflies and bees, which is beautiful. That one could go straight onto a canvas, couldn't it? Very, very simply and very, very easily. This one has mirror images as well, which would be great if you're putting these into to, to journals or pages, pages that are facing each other too. Beautiful, beautiful butterflies. Oh, other way, there you go, headaches, poor things, there we go, there you go, and there are the bees as well, have we seen this one, there we go, that's upside down, there you go, lovely, at £9.99, pence. let's look now at Rusty Time, Rusty Time is one of our favourites as well because this is clocks and lovely aged elements. I love that sepia feel to that one. Um, so this is Rusty Time. Gorgeous, gorgeous um, tones and textures. And can you can see there's a lovely sheen to this rice paper as well. So it's not just about the atmosphere that the paper itself is creating. This is wonderful. Um, uh, you know, you might even think of that as a sort of stormy sea scene. Do you know what I mean? There might be a, if the sea was in the right place, or that could be the sea and that could be the sky. Uh, it could be the hay wane, couldn't it, all over again, that. And again, you've got this as like a sort of aged bronze background, and then this is clocks and cogs together. So that is rusty time. And the final one, fairies. Fairies, so, so popular. In fact, half of the stock has sold out and gone already of the fairies. So you've got the larger images and you've got the smaller ones there as well, which could, I mean, again, they could go straight onto the front page of something. Um, and then more of those. And then that, which is just incredible. I love it just beautiful love it zero six five eight eight zero and there's one more option which is the animals which is this one here and this is cats and dogs and butterflies as well so there you go there's number one and there's the cats there which are very very beautiful got little set sentiments underneath them as well adorable my faithful friend etc etc got little scotty dogs there as well and then you've got the bees as well, which is lovely. So that's another one of the options. That the, that's the one called Animals, by the way. Uh, 065880. Remember, you can sh uh, have a look at all of these in more detail on the website as well, and everything else which is in the show as well. Uh, and of course, then you can shop by brand as well at hochanda.com and just look at that's crafty. Now we're going to look at some of the mediums that we've been using and that we can use for rice paper projects and many others as well. Mm. So we'll start with this one, which is the holographic fine texture paste. Um, now this, how, do, how would we actually use this? How would you we incorporate use, this? You can use it with a paintbrush and paint with it over. You can use it with your stencils and add you know, detail with your stencils that way. Um, you Use it with your fingers and, and just dab on little textural bits and pieces. Mm -hmm. Daubers, sponges. There's lots of different ways that you, you can actually use it. Mm -hmm. um, we're we're going to have a go with that with one of the other projects later. Oh, brilliant. But, and it does. It leaves such a, a lovely iridescence look to it when it's dry. It's good. good. And it's textural as well. Lovely. And we, um, anything that adds depth and definition mm. and texture is always good fun to work with, isn't it? Mm. Um, £9.99. and pence. Great to have that holographic nature to it as well. So that lovely fine sparkle that's within it. Mm. You can build it up into layers as well if you wanted yeah. to. Yeah. You can also mix it with any of the paints or any of the inks. Brilliant. And then you've changed its colour, but it still doesn't lose that beautiful holographic iridescence. Fabulous. Look to it as well. 663-396 is your item number if you want to grab that. That's the fine holographic paste. Then we have the fine texture paste. Now, um, I, I guess this kind of does what it says on the tin, really, doesn't it? This is going to start giving you that. that is, is it slightly sort of more of a grainy texture? Yeah, more of a grainy, slight, um, not, not as heavy as... Um, a, a, another paste, if that makes sense. So the particles within it are a, a lot finer, but you uh -huh. still don't lose that textural element. So if mm -hmm. you ran your fingers over it, you still have that beautiful textural image, you know, raised effect that you want to get. And the texture is still there. a little there. bit like a, an embossed look then? 
No, like you use, yeah. Like you've used an embossing powder and then. Yes, yes, yeah. You, yeah. But obviously, you, the more you put on, the greater yeah. the depth. So you can build it up like like snow sitting on branches, oh, for instance, for winter projects and things yes, like that. You yes. could do that. I say for winter projects. I mean, we could still be we could still be in for snow. You know, any time between now and April, couldn't we? Fingers crossed, no. It would be quite nice, wouldn't it? I don't mind a bit of snow every now and again. Mm -hmm. I mean, listen, I'd like to be at home and stuck at home rather than stuck somewhere else, but, you know, I wouldn't mind a bit of snow. I don't mind the snow, it's the slushy yeah. grey afterwards. Yeah. I'm not overly keen. So that's 534174 uh, for that one. Next, uh, a crackle glaze. Now, um, now this is clear, isn't mm. it? So so what what kind of effect do we get? So if we did this on the jar, what, what kind of effect would we get on this? Once it's dry, it would create, you know that age crackle look that you get in between the paint layers? Oh. So you would put the paint, your acrylic paint down, put a layer of the, the, the glaze on, the crackle glaze. Can I put some on my jar? Um, well, we'd have to put a, a layer of something else on it, but we could have a go with something else. Okay. Right. But and it, the thicker you put it on, the bigger the crackle. The oh. thinner you put it on, the smaller the crackle. Oh, and okay. that will work on absolutely, you know, you can put it on absolutely every surface. It's a great way of adding, you know, quick age. And then go over it with ah. your paints. Oh, okay. And stuff like that, so you can go inside the cracks. So Right, and add even more even more depth definition. Yeah, I texture. see. I get it. I, I, I want to try that. <laughs> uh, 101268 is the item number for that one then. Uh, really, really good price tag as well, considering the versatility of that and the versatility of the mediums that you can work on mm. with it as well. I'm going to say, I mean, on the back of all the packaging, I think this is pretty, there is actually a quick how to use it and oh, also yeah. exactly what you can and can't use on it. So if you... Obviously, you watch the shows and we give you lots of information. If you're not sure, it's on the packaging. It's yeah. superb. Yeah. Um, very straightforward, how to use it quickly and effectively, and what it also can be used on. I but think that's brilliant, because you've got that with you all the time on that packaging. I hope we get an opportunity to use that. <laughs> 101, 268 is the item number there, 99 uh, again. Um, light texture. Now, we've had the fine texture, so I guess we're talking slightly slightly grittier, slightly more body. Yeah, and it's, um, it's... Oh, gosh. Can you see? Isn't right. that lovely? And it's white. So it's smooth to the look. Yeah. But we're talking a, a, a different consistency. Yes, a different... Right. So like a creamy consistency. Ah, OK, yes, because it's sort of like a cream cheese, isn't yes, it? Yes, yes. Mm, I wouldn't quite go that far, but yes. But it's, it's a lovely, smooth texture on, on it. Go through your stencils. Um, I like to use it sometimes underneath and then put like the rice papers on so you can see a little bit of the texture and coming through. And what's that feel like when it's dry? Does it feel like, does it feel rubbery? Does it feel um, smooth or...? I, I haven't really at thought about like what it feels like afterwards. Um, it has a slight texture to it, but a matte. Okay. look to it. Yep. Um, so could you do it through a stencil and then, you know, you have like a, um, you could leave like a big sort of plate of it yes. and, and then move it around as one yes. and but, I mean, form it around things. Could if you, you had a, a malleable enough stencil that you yeah. could do, yes, you could do. So, oh. I mean, you don't have to, you, you can use your fingers with paste and stuff like that. So if you had a stencil, you could use your fingers or a sponge or like a little dauber and put it in that way and pull it oh. away and you that creates a different texture then again mm -hmm. but it, that will it actually has a nice matte love finish it. this is to a whole it. new world to me and i love it <laughs> i really really do love it i want every one of these jars uh, 891214 and then we've got excuse me windy pops um, and then we have texture paste but this is the thicker Okay. So if right. you look at the comparison yes. between the so, two, so this is more like a like a whipped double cream, isn't it? And this is a little bit more like your cream cheese. So it's a little lighter and a little softer. <laughs> I, I always have analogy. to relate things to food. That's the only thing I can relate <laughs> things to. Um, um, but you can see this has got more. This is more like um, meringue at peaks, meringue. isn't it? <laughs> when you've got to the peak stage. Yes, um, and it's I mean, they both can be used that way. I'm not, I'm I'll start again, Louise. They can both be used on card, MDF, chipboard, um, all of your major projects. But that well, one it dries is quick, doesn't it? As yeah, well. that's dried on my fingers already. But that's, that's quite light layer. But yes, that's why I'm saying you can use all of these with your fingers and little daubers, and they will dry. So that's the thin layer. Yeah. Obviously, the thicker the layer you put on, the longer it will need to dry. Well, I could use this as filler <laughs> for the wrinkles, couldn't I? <laughs> Thank you, Kirsty. Yeah, don't do that. Don't do that, that's uh, not advice. I might try it later, but don't you do it. <laughs>
312760 is your item number for that one then 999 right let's go and play again shall we let's show you some um, of the other mediums that we've got on the website in fact here's the 3d holographic gel uh, medium uh, Kirsty, you're very sweet there we go I'm all cleaned up again now uh, ready to go back to my masterpiece um, 267036. Now, it's really, really busy for the um, holographic gel. I wonder, is there any chance that we can incorporate it? Well, I was going to... We can incorporate it onto our glass or we can incorporate it onto the canvas. What would you prefer to Should do? Should we do it on the glass? The reason I was going to can incorporate it onto the glass was you can see the brush strokes. Whereas if I take the gel now... Yeah. And I'm just going to take it from the lid and I just pounce it on, I can then cover all my... I'm going to use my fingers in a minute because I find that easier. There we go. And I can then pounce it on. Once it's dry, it leaves a beautiful holographic. So we'll have, we can have a look at that at the end of the show. Oh, OK. And We're actually looking at the fine at the moment. Um, oh. We have got the 3D on the show, which is going to give you a slightly different look. Yeah. Because we um, haven't actually... Have we, have we got the 3D here? We haven't I haven't. Actually. I've only no, got the fine. Got that. So all I'm doing... OK, no worries. I'll just do it on one piece. Yeah. Is I'm just covering where I've done all my brush strokes. Yeah. And then that covers them gives me extra texture as you were saying mm -hmm. and it will give a lovely well the butterflies uh, you know like a nice iridescent floaty yeah. look like a nice little sparkle yeah what was the one uh, uh, yeah that was the one it was the fine that we had over yeah. there wasn't it yes. and you could even do it around the edges if you wanted to so I'm just going to do it and I'll leave it like that and we'll come back to it and have a look that's giving you a slightly frosted look and it's, it's also going to give you that holographic look as well. And because I've now gone over my brush marks, it yes. looks like it's a, you know, it's a deliberate... Like it was always there. Yeah, but I still haven't looked. I've got a semi-translucent look now to it. Yeah. To, to, the, actual, to the actual vase. I love it. <laughs> and I love <laughs> the possibilities as well. I mean, I just had a little play there. I mean, it's just, you know, it's a couple of minutes work as then there's lots more that you would do to something like that. Um, but yes, again, we'll have a go. To, to transform something which was I've deliberately just done one half, so you can see to transform what was very, very plain looking and whatever, and actually now it's got that lovely individual, you know, look. And of course, you would go in and, and you know make it more personal. You could add sediments to your papers yeah, and then it, you know upcycling bits and pieces. But um, and as we're saying, the white border that you get around the rice papers, stamp on them. Yeah. Look, use your own handwriting. Ooh. And do a message. Okay, Ooh, maybe not like then. a doctor's prescription. Oh, though. is it? <laughs> <laughs> right, right so now we're going to um, pop some onto canvas, aren't yes, we? Yes, and then we can use some of the stencils with some of the pastes as well to add okay. a little bit of detail. Let's do it. So well, all I've done side. is I've just got a regular canvas, um, and I've just put a, a layer of the um, white gesso on, to, just to add a little bit of a tooth. It do, some of the canvases already come pre-gessoed, but just to do that. And I thought. I mean, she sits there beautifully on that canvas, you know, an, an image, yeah. you've got your own picture in your own, Perfect. or even the one that you liked would sit. Yes, um, yes, it was one of the, it was one of the butterfly ones, wasn't it? It was, doo -doo 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 -doo. I think it was her, so wasn't it? So, just using that on the canvas there, so if we pushed it over there, so you either got to lose a foot or a hand a bit, and that then sits. And like you were saying, that's your perfect picture it's a, it's in, in one I, go. And we haven't done anything else other than add that rice paper to I it. I find that a real joy just to look at in terms of the imagery. Yeah. I think it's beautiful. Um, fairies, by the way, the, the, the one that this one, the, the one I just showed you, in fact, that one just <laughs> came from, um, two thirds of the stock. In fact, while we're there, do you want yes. to have a look through the rest of fairies? <laughs> uh, we may as well. Uh, we're in the right place, aren't we? So this is the fairy. So one, two. Three. I think that's the one that's captivating everyone of that fairy set, actually. I think it's I beautiful. I think it's the colours, because you can yeah. go quite uh, modern, because you've got the reds and the oranges, it's, or you can go vintage. I, I, I love it. It's, it's like something from a silent film. I mean, that you know would look, I mean? Um, also, that would look lovely on um, Black Card. Yes. As well. That yeah. would make it pop in a different way again. would look beautiful. So that's the fairies, and two-thirds of the stock of the fairies has uh, sold out and gone completely and utterly I, and I'm really not <laughs> surprised when you see when you see how versatile this is when you can see how much fun you can have with it when you see it's a case of okay don't be scared of it just go in you go just in, go in and play but don't um, also have a look at all the different elements that you've actually got on one mm -hmm. sheet because I mean we're obviously using just one whole sheet here but if we wanted to you could just have one eye 
mm -hmm. you know, on a corner. Yeah. You've got the rose. Mm -hmm. um, her hair would make a brilliant background um, in its own right. So you don't, if you don't want to use her, you know, as one whole image, yes. look at how the composition yeah. in the picture. So I'm just adding some of the gel medium Are you using a, a spatula there? Is there a reason why for the canvas? It's quicker. Oh, OK. <laughs> There you go. Ask the question, got the answer. It's quicker than a, yeah, yeah. a paintbrush. So I'm just going to put her on top. So you're using the, the gesso there, aren't you? The, the gel medium. Oh, okay, right. On Straight onto the canvas there. Right. So I've just put her on top, because what I'm trying to do is get the wording out of the way, but we can always cover any wording that's mm -hmm. there. So that's all I've done. Yeah. And then I'm just going to put a layer on the top. And I'm just going to seal it so that this will dry quite quickly. If we have to use a heat gun, we do. <gasps> oh gosh, now that's changed. Going over the top has changed the image as well, hasn't it? In terms the of the gel medium is beautiful. Yeah, and it's made the darker colours slightly darker. It's made the lighter colours pop out a little bit yeah. more. It's turned it a little bit more photographic, hasn't it? Yes, yes. Uh, as if you had <coughs> printed it onto photographic paper. Yes. Yeah. Um, so I'm just going to smooth her down now obviously for speed I would spend a little bit longer getting rid of some of the wrinkles but actually you know I don't mind the wrinkles I think no. it adds another dimension it's got that slightly parchment look about it now hasn't it well flowers <coughs> and, and things like that I mean obviously we don't want wrinkles on her face <laughs> <laughs> that's just from a vanity point of view yeah yeah yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, but you could um, you know s spend a little bit more time and move it out but then if she has got a few wrinkles that doesn't matter either. We can always cover. So, now. Um, thank you, lovely. Did you say it was Anna, Meg? Anne, thank you, lovely Anne, for your lovely email. And you're, and you're quite right. Uh, when, I was, when I popped in a few years ago to do a show, it was nothing to do with crafting whatsoever, but it was on Hochanda about cruise holidays. <laughs> I did meet Phil Martin. Um, and we got on like a house on fire, and I can't wait until I'm here and, and suggesting that, that me and Phil would be a good combination for crafting together. Oh, yes. And I'm that looking would forward be. to it. I love getting involved. Like, there's only one way you can find. Yeah. I don't think you can ever say, oh, that's not for me. No. I don't think you can ever say that and, until you've given it a go and, and tried it. Do you know what I mean? Because I think some people look, even if, they, even if you card make and you think, oh, I could never make my own dresses or I could no. never make a handbag or, or whatever, 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 you can't ever say that until you've actually sort of Giving it a go, yeah. yeah. You've um, got to dive in and have a little go, haven't you? Yeah. So I'm just going to pull away. It's great fun. It's great fun. And, and, and I think that the one thing that stops a lot of people, if I'm perfectly honest, and I know a lot of people in my life that craft, and then I see all this talent here on this channel, and I think, gosh, you know, you're, you're on the telly because you've been doing this for so many years and you're absolutely perfect at everything. Every single guest that comes on here says, do you know what, I'm about to do something and I don't know whether it's going to work or not. Which but, is what I said this but, morning. See, and that's the thing. Is, yeah, she was the first thing you said to me yeah. at half past seven this morning, or to half past six even this yes, morning. Half past six, yes. Um, <laughs> was, I don't quite know what I'm doing yet. I'm, I'm, there's a couple of different directions I might go in, so just bear with me because it might all go completely horribly wrong. And I think you've got to be prepared to just say, actually, do you know what? I'm going to give that a go. Yeah. If it goes wrong, but it's my wrong, it's fine. I'll still be proud of it. Uh, I've also, I think. I'm proud of that. Take a bit of pressure off ourselves. Yes. It's fun, isn't it? Just get lost into the it's, moment. It's I mean, not going to the Tate, is no. it? Do you know what I mean? Well, it's not even so much Other that. galleries are available. Um, Sometimes creating something is actually about the process, not necessarily always about the end result. Well, and actually having that do you, do you time know to yourself yes. just to get lost in a project. And do, and do you know what? You're so right, because um, I, I think about the, 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 the times where... I'm not here, I'm not focused on, on this and watching this, and I think, I walk around with that damn gadget in my hand the whole time, wasting time, scrolling through rubbish and nonsense that means nothing to me, adds nothing to my life no, whatsoever. No, I know what you mean. And then I think of the hours that I stand here and do things like this, and I think, you know what, I've got something out of that. Yeah. I've got something out of that. And when you take yourself off for an hour or two, you're not thinking about... No. Oh, you know, what's happening in the world, what's he said about her, what are they doing? None of that matters, really, if you think about it. It's quite nice to just zone out. And I think doing projects like this is, you know, gives you that chance to zone out. We all like different things. Yeah. So, you know, 
why not have a go? I'm just using the heat gun just to dry so the paste off. I would let it dry a little bit longer, but for oh, time. See now, I, I don't know whether you can see this, but visually to my eye, that's now gone from a photographic image through a parchment phase, mm. and now it's looking a little bit like the texture of the brushed cotton fabric that we had in the last hour. Yeah, that's because of the canvas underneath. Yeah. So the texture of the canvas has also come through. And the fibres, of course, in the in the rice paper are now fluffing slightly as well, yeah. aren't they? Yeah. To a, am I allowed to say that word at this time of the day? Um, <laughs> but they are slightly, aren't they? So yeah. they're slightly raising. I love it. Um, I've got to give you another stock update, I'm afraid. Um, it's the fairies, I'm afraid. The fairies are now limited stock. Now, when you see all five of the papers that are in the fairy option, I mean, that could go straight onto a canvas, couldn't it? We talked about this before. This main image could go straight into a canvas, but you could take the smaller and the, the, the different size images there, and you can create lots of looks with those. I mean, the texture of this rice paper is the, is the winning element, I mm. think, of this, isn't it? Oh, because it means that the print, the colours are very, very vivid. Um, if I just turn one of the papers around the wrong way for a second, you can just see how fibrous that is as well. Usually with the rice paper, they're very, very fine. They're very, very delicate um, indeed. Um, and I'm not knocking one against the other at all, but I'm just extolling the virtues of just how beautiful and fibrous this is. I mean, when you can do that lovely feathering technique, and, and I'll just show you with one of the other rice papers, that's the fairy options there. But when you see that the, the, the feathering here is just it's just beautiful the way it comes apart the way it comes apart i'm just waiting hang on there we go <laughs> let's wait for the camera to wake up but when you see the way that that feathers so beautifully because it is so fibrous it's gorgeous so you don't have to be over overly delicate with these at all because they're almost part paper part fabric almost aren't they they are they're lovely now were you talking about the crackle glaze yes and i was saying how wonderful the instructions are on the back of the packaging yes so if you grab yours because i've opened mine yes it tells you exactly what to do yes so it says stir thoroughly before use uh can be used between the layers of paint paint or as an undercoat paint the surface with a surface with acrylic paint when dry paint on a layer of crackle glaze when the glaze is dry, dries with a slightly tacky finish, apply a second layer of a different colour paint and watch the cracks appear. OK, so it, that, I think that is brilliant. So you take that with you and you've got your instructions permanently yeah, with you. Yeah, yeah. So we'll thought we'll have a go. Let's. So I've chosen two of the paints and I've gone for ones that are, sim you know, I've gone for an apricot and I've gone for the okay. sandstone because I think they're quite tonally yes. matching. So and, we do and those, I guess, those will be available. Are they in this show? Um, are they on the the paints? paints. Yes, the paints are. Uh, if you're looking on the website, you can pick and mix the paint colours, and you're using the is an, apricot. an apricot and a, the sandstone. Okay, apricot right. and sandstone we're using now. Okay. Oh, the rice papers. Uh, the fairies option has now sold out. So oh. well done. I'm, I'm saying oh, because that's obviously that's sad news if you haven't managed to get it. But brilliant news if you did manage to get it. So well done. Right. So I've just put a layer on there. So let's move that one out of the way. So let's give that a quick dry. Okay. But it does say on the instructions to dry each yes. layer. Yes. Yes. So if you're new to crackle, you've got your instructions straight away. Yeah. Um, paint on the surface back there. with acrylic paint. When dry, paint on a layer of crackle glaze. When the crackle glaze is dry, uh, apply a second layer of a different colour paint and watch the cracks appear. Okay. Ah, so this so, sits between two. So I, I've done a, a thin layer because obviously time and yeah. speed. So we've got a cloth there. Haven't got time to run it round the block. <laughs> it's cold so, enough out there. It's it. So we're going to add some crackle, so let's find a brush, there we go. I've got the brush, so I can layer oh, it on. It's sort of the consistency of sort of PVA glue, sort of watered down PVA, isn't it, almost? Yeah. It's that kind of consistency, isn't it? Okay. It's a bit egg whitey as well, actually, isn't it? Yes. Right, so we've got that on there, so okay. we've got to let that layer of the crackle, we've got to let the crackle dry, so I'm right. just going to give it a quick blast. Normally you would let it... Dry naturally. naturally. Yeah. It doesn't take long, but that's what you would do. Um, because it, it's more effective if you let it dry naturally. 
not quite there. And I've got some bits that are quite thick. So let's where it's thin, let's do that bit at the top there. So here we go. She says, trying to get it to dry as quick as possible. I'm just going to focus on one bit and see if I can get it to... <clears throat> so if I add, where's my other paper? Right, so, so I've just done a little bit there to the dry. It's the second layer that, that really will reveal the, the magic of this, won't if it? We've done it? If I've done it correctly. Joe is probably standing at the screen going, no, 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 do this. <laughs> so I'm just putting another layer on of the crackle. And as it dries again... crack should slowly come through she hopes fingers crossed oh paint too close oh you can start seeing some of the smaller cracks coming through oh i see i haven't right. let it dry enough so the paint yep. can you see the paint's bubbling yep so i'll let that dry so as that dries sorry no that's fine sorry guys that was me I'll let all this dry, and in between shows, I'll put another layer of the paint on, and then we'll see the crackles. You can, I'm making you can the acrylic see, bubble. Yeah, you can see yeah, you can it see starting it here, to look. develop. Yeah, just starting to develop about there. But what you I'll do is I'll let it. that dry naturally and put a layer on top, and then we can see it in the next show. Well, listen, in three hours' time, that'll all be perfect. <laughs> that'll all be perfect. Now we've literally got, I think, four minutes. Okay. Um, so what can we do in four minutes? <gasps> Something a little bit different. Well, we'll keep to the same canvas, I think. Okay. Is that all right, or do you want me to use no, something different? No, that's fine. I'll do a quick run-through of the rice papers, um, and then we'll come back and do a quick final demo. So, there are six different options, remember. So that is the animals option there. Actually, one of them has sold out. Fairies has sold out, of course. So that's the animals with the cats and the dogs and the bees. Then you've got the butterflies and bees. So if you did miss out on the fairies, you've got some really, really similar kind of um, imagery um, in that one as well, which is lovely. That's the fairies that sold out. There's grunge. Grunge is beautiful because you've got those lovely fonts in there. There's rusty time, which is lovely as um, sort of tonal... Um, elements and old maps which is beautiful because every single one of them looks 300 plus years old already right we're gonna have a little stencil play yeah. aren't we Lee? So I've got a, a stencil here okay and I thought we'd do with a holographic so I'm just gonna put it on so before I used my finger on the glass jar didn't I you did so this time I'm going through a stencil so this is the holographic again isn't it yeah the holographic fine fine yeah I'm just gonna go over I'm just going to go through the stencil. I'm not going to pick out all the image or go right to the edge because mm -hmm. I like I like the leaf pattern on here on the yeah. stencil. This yeah, yeah. These are one of the that's crafty ones. I'm not sure if they're on the website, but I thought it went lovely with the the picture we've got. So if we take that away, <gasps> oh gosh, you can actually see. Well, can I yep. can I show you that head on? Oh, well, you can see it there perfectly. So isn't that wonderful? And again, that will just become more and more wonderful. You can just won't start it? to see if you look. The, the, the sparkle within the actual paste itself. Uh, we'll, we'll show it head on in a, in a moment. At the moment it looks a little bit like slushy snow, doesn't it? Oh, I think it's prettier than slushy snow. It's got a lovely... Oh, just, it was the, no, it's just the oh. angle we were looking at it oh, on the right, camera, okay. that's all. <laughs> we're, uh, when, we're, when we're head on, we'll be... Look at that. Look at that. Right, let's do a little bit of... Oh, look. Gosh. It's so, so beautiful. It, it, it's, it's lovely, but it's got a lovely textural feel to it. Can you see how yeah. it's... And you've got that little sparkle, that little iridescence. Yeah. But you can still see that beautiful fairy behind. You haven't lost that, but she's now got her, her fairy sparkle. Yeah, I love it. Just by it. adding that. And you can go round, once it's dry, you can go round and add your paints, colours to it. Your, mm -hmm. your pearly inks on top of that would look, oh, even divine as well so I'll let that bit dry in between the shows and we'll put the paint yes. on and do the crackle and then we'll and, and then, then we'll we can see, see its full glory yeah. um, now you're you're back at midday what can we expect at midday I'm going to use some of the MDF tags and show you how to make a tag book right oh, from brilliant. start from scratch okay and then look at some of those lovely um, timepiece ones or the rusty ones 
Ah. And, and make a, a collage piece from which that. Which have such a different feel yes. to them. I mean, a massively, massively different feel to them. Um, this is great. Have a play. If oh, maybe this definitely. is your, the first time you've seen rice papers and, um, at all, and you've thought, oh gosh, right, well normally I just stamp things or I cut shapes out and I transfer them from here to here and put them on a card. Oh. Now, this gives me a completely different avenue. And, yes, and I've thoroughly enjoyed, it's, it's something different for me as well. I mean, I do do mixed media pieces, but it's, it's great to play with different things and yeah, see yeah. how they actually work. It's brilliant. Thank you very <laughs> no, much, thank Lou, you. as well, because I know you've stepped in for Joe, haven't you, yes, last I'm minute? Yes, I wish Joe really, today. really well, yeah. Yes, we wish you uh, well very, very mm, soon, Joe. Yes, um, she's come down with the dreaded winter lurgy, hasn't she? Mm. Oh, so, so. But you're back at midday, aren't you? I am you? back at with, midday. With Rachel, so we shall see you then. Um, have a little look on the website. Everything in the show is on the website um, at hochando.com. So um, everything we have seen and some lots of bits and pieces that we haven't seen actually that uh, are on some pick and mixes there for you as well. Um, you can see on the show. Also, you can shop by brand as well. So if you go to hochando.com and shop by brand, if you look for That's Crafty, uh, you'll find lots of other bits and pieces that they do there as well. So brilliant. Thank you, Lou. And we'll see the... Uh, We'll see the end result <laughs> of that playing. and <laughs> lots, lots more uh, a little bit later on. Um, stay where you are because there is so much happening through today. It's a really, really busy day. Uh, please do make sure also you check out your baskets and uh, I'll see you back for a little bit more later. So our one day special from Studio Light is coming up next, then we've got more from 13 Arts and Joseph Bear Crochet Designs as well, all coming up today. If you love cake and you love to bake, we've got something you're going to enjoy. Here at Achanda's Crafty Kitchen, we'll be introducing you to brand new guest demonstrators from the world of baking and cake decorating, who will be on hand to inspire you with sugar flour making techniques, food flavoring ideas, baking kits in a bottle, and as well as showcasing some very fashionable kitchen aprons. Watch out for brand new products, some very bespoke to the baking world, but others you can utilise within the world of craft, which will allow you more flexibility between the different mediums. Intrigued? Well, set your temperatures, set your timers, and tune in every fortnight to see what's in the oven on The Crafty Kitchen. Did you know you can continue watching Hochanda 24 hours a day, 7 days a week, for free, using your smart TV? It's just like watching us on your computer or tablet, only now we'll be on your large screen smart TV. Follow these easy steps to get your smart TV set up. Firstly, make sure your smart TV is connected to the internet, either through a wireless connection, if your TV supports it, or via the Ethernet port on the back of your TV. If you're not already connected, use your remote control and select network settings through your TV's menu and follow the instructions to set this up. Remember to have your router's password to hand, whether you're using a wired or wireless connection. This should be on the side or bottom of your router. You can always refer to your TV's help menu or instruction booklet for more information. Once you are set up, press the Smart Hub dedicated button on your remote. This will vary between brands, but it's usually located at the center of the remote. This is where you'll find your internet web browser app. Select this to open and then type hochanda.com into the search bar. And this will take you to our website homepage, which includes our live broadcast and access to previous shows. So now you can watch, purchase and catch up with your favorite shows 24 hours a day, seven days a week on your TV, whenever you feel crafty. Well, hello 
a very good morning to you. No, 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 no. Uh, how are you, lovely Hello. people out there? This, of course, is Hochanda. I am, uh, do you know what I was going to say? I am the Pierman. How <laughs> conceited does that sound? I am the Pierman. Uh, I'm Rachel. This is a fabulous look. Uh, you know, Give me some loving. Oh. I have followed this lady for ages. <laughs> I love her presenting. I just think she's so down to earth and she's such an inspiration. So I'm, I'm like, well, Rachel. Oh, thank you. Oh, well, no. it's genuine. I, I do. I love it. I, you can I've, tell. I've missed the camera. I've missed the people. I've missed you lovely really people tell. like you. I've missed. I mean, I don't do this. You know, as you know, I've got a company that does this kind of thing. But I, I, I love getting involved with it and watching you can it. Tell. So it's genuine. And that comes through. And that's why I watched you. And yeah. it's like people know they're not daft out there. Yeah. They know. Yeah. And you know. But I'm yeah. going to be. I'm going to be calm today, guys. No, don't be calm. No, we don't want calm. <laughs> we don't do calm. No. Did you see me and Derek this morning? We, we, we lost the plot. Oh, it's great, that. Yeah. Great. Right, should we talk about this then? Yes. Because we've got a lovely show for you, and everything on this show is utterly brand spanking new. Yep. All launched yesterday, which mm -hmm. was super duper exciting. Um, this is our one day special. So remind me, the one day special begins um, the day before yep. at six o'clock, and it goes until six today. Yep. So these are kind of coming towards the penultimate show. So yep. how many more shows today, Lou? We've got nine, one, and five. Right, okay. That's the start of them, and then um, it'll be the next one. So it's, I like the way that it's one day and then another craft one day and another yeah. craft I know yeah. <laughs> I know it doesn't always help your uh, your purse but yeah. It's so sort of refreshing yes. seeing different seeing things. Different things. Yeah. And you do different things on every oh, show. Yeah, so if absolutely. people are watching now, if they come back at one o'clock, it's going to be different totally. again. Yeah, because I yeah. can't remember what I've done anyway. Yeah. So just do something else. <laughs> <laughs> and if you go onto our rewind, of course, you can watch yesterday's show. If you really, really sad. No, you should. You should stop it. If you're really, stop really it. unhappy and you want to laugh, go and watch it. <laughs> She's fabulous. Right, should we okay. talk about these yes. then? Because I do know what these things are. They're called dyes. They are. I remember. I remember. <laughs> <laughs> so we've got uh, a four uh, set here. Let's yep. talk about what they can do. Well, these dyes, the studio light are brilliant. They've, like I say, changed over the last few years. They've really got a different market over here now. And they've grown up to me. And they've grown up in the fact that they... they incorporate all crafters so we've got some journaling dies here and next month i'm so excited i've got some of my stuff coming out which all comes together with this Damn. so these dies they have layering dies in them yeah. so you you look at the outside and then you've got dies that actually fit within them and layer so it might look like you've got one but it's like this the flower one you've got three four in there uh, the next one you've got three or four in that, and I can't remember, you, you, you'll find them when you... But all these are separate in the middle, so you can build up, use them on their own, you can make them into anything you want. Yeah. And I love the patterns now, because you can even just make that a piece of lace if you wanted. Yeah. You, you don't have to use it as a book. And you used a word there, or you kind of said, it's about versatility. I Absolutely. hate it when you buy something, totally. and you can only use it for one thing. I don't you, buy it, you know, No, you don't. No, I don't, no. because it needs. I need to use it mm. for more than one thing, otherwise mm. it's just... Take out, it's like that, take it out of the box. But yeah. mm, boy. It needs to be diverse, doesn't oh, it? Yeah. We like diversity. We do. That's the dancers, isn't it? it I is. interviewed them years ago. Did you? Yeah, I did a conference and they were the opening act. Yes. Yeah, I really like them because they're full of life. They're a bit diva-ish. Oh, they? Oh, they were having a bit of a strop because the area they had to do the old... I won't demonstrate the tumbling. Um, I, well, I can do it clearly. I could tumble across the studio right now. I could uh, do. But yeah, they, they, they didn't wobble. have enough room. <laughs> yeah, enough room. Well, that could be dangerous, isn't it? But I'm not, I'm not doing that. <laughs> <laughs> but they were all right, they were nice. Let, I'm looking right. at some examples here. Yeah, we've got a few examples today. Um, and this is how you can see how they've been layered up, lace applied. And you can make the papers look like lace. We've got the rice papers on that make look like lace. And then all the, the stamps we've got coming up, you can make them grunge yet, or you can make them actually, you know, quite uh, pretty. Yes. You don't have to sort of... I mean, I love this here. This effect is super... And it just reminds me of Japanese. I love this because I can yeah. do my journaling and my mixed media. I'm renowned for that. I, that's a really nice thing. I love mixed that. media. Mixed media journaling. Love it. Yeah. Love it. And I'm doing some journaling um, stuff later this year, actually, with our oh. Lottie. Oh, yeah. yeah. Doing a little stuff. bit of a uh, little bit of a weekend retreat. Yeah, yeah. She does some brilliant stuff with her bullet journaling and stuff. Yeah. But this again, I, this was laughing because if that had been a fiver, you can't get it out. <laughs> But yeah, <laughs> we've tried. And then you can die cut them and make them um, really thick if you want. You put a couple of layers together. And if you yeah. haven't got MDF, yeah, put a couple of layers together. It's yeah. quite strong then. 
Fabulous. Well, look, do you want to get hold of those? If you do and you don't want to pay that full well, price of 39.99, what you need to do is pick up the phone 01733 60 2000. Um, I'll go to the website hochamba.com. Now, since launched yesterday, 40% of the stock has gone, which is about where you'd expect to be because obviously it launched last night at six, so it, this could be a sellout, yeah. uh, couldn't it? Normally we do sell out quite often. It's not be gedded in any way, but it, they do. People do like them, so we've got a huge amount in. Yeah. So even five percent is it's good. It's a lot. Mm. It's a lot. It's but a lot but the worst it because all the ones they've got, they can die. The dyes have already bought people. You can use them with ease. Use them, yeah. yeah. We want to be together, work yes. together. Absolutely. Absolutely. Right. Okay. Let's just move on. Let's. Okay, let's go to the next ones. Oh, by the way, the dispatch date is the 16th yeah. of January. Because uh, this is a Dutch company, yes, isn't it? Yes, it is. Yeah. It's based in the Netherlands, so you've got obviously the postage and stuff. But yeah, they, they're really up in the game with that. They had a few hiccups last year. Um, only little tiny ones, but now, yeah. you know, they're really... Because they know how much we love them here. Yeah. It's really good. And it's good to see what other people are doing, yeah. other places. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. Let's have a look at this little collection right. here. I'll say little, it's quite a big collection, mm, actually. Uh, we've got a whole load of fabulous things here. We've got chipboards there, we've got stamps, we've got some lovely little watercolours there. I love a little watercolour mm. tray. Yeah. I love them. These have got great names like Serenity and Hope and stuff like that. <laughs> no. It's hope is a good word. Yeah, really, really <laughs> I, I had to have a lot of hope last year. Well, this is it. <laughs> but, yeah. you know, it's a good word. Um, now, look, can we talk pigment on those watercolours? Because right. some watercolours can be a little bit wooshy wooshy. These are these. really strong. Um, because I, I work for other companies, I work for different paint companies. And so, you, you know, if I say that they're really strong, I have to be true. Yeah. And it is. Yeah. You've got a really good lay down of colour. You can really watercolour it out. There is, um, it, it's a matte finish. You get some watercolours, they have a slight sheet. These are totally matte, mm. totally matte. Mm. Really strong pigment, but you've also got two water brushes, which is really good. A removable palette. So that's really handy, and you don't often get that many colours. Yes. Together, you normally have to buy two or three different sets mm. to get that range of colours. Yeah. You know, you'd have the exactly. standard. That's right. You know, blues and, and, and yeah. reds and greens, but this has got pink. It's got all those other colours that you, mm. two or three. Yeah. So you'd end up with packs of them. Yeah. But these are really, really lovely colours. Yeah. Um, this, by the way, this has got a Freedom uh, mm -hmm. Members price. Is that for the whole lot? That's not just the paints, is it? The whole lot. So now, Freedom Members, it's six pounds and seventy-five pence a month. Now, the great thing is, it will roll over every month unless you stop it. Uh, so you can stop it. It's not a kind of year's contract or anything. But when you pay six seventy-five a month, what happens is you then get special six ninety-seven. Sorry, you then get special prices on mm -hmm. various items, and this is one of those. Mm -hmm. So it's forty-nine forty-six, and your postage is included as yeah. well, which is. Fabulous, fabulous, as John Barry would yeah. say. Fabulous. <laughs> you know me, I sing a lot, don't I? I sing a lot. And what's the word that I used to use? Shiny. That's that, it, yeah. shiny thing. Yeah, so that's coming back. I'm, hey, bringing, I'm bringing the shiny bring it back. back. Yeah. Bring it back. Right, stamps. Let's talk about those. Right, the stamps are really lovely because they're delicate enough to use on their own or with watercolours. But to me, if there's too much detail on the stamp, it doesn't give you much versatility to yes. do. But I, I was looking at these last night and I thought I could doodle in some of these. Mm. The hydrangea. This cyclamen is so beautiful. You could change your colours. I, I know. I said it last night. We have to do sympathy cards. Yes. We don't want to do them. No, they're hard but to they, do. They mm. work with that. Mm. And we've got flowers with leaves and stems. You normally just get flowers. Yeah. So I, I really like these. Plus we've got Dutch words and English words. Oh. And I've been using. Somebody said, "Why can we have Dutch words?" But they, I love different languages because yeah. it makes a card interesting. And um, so you could use both. But you put the words together. You can create a word background. Yeah, that's a good idea. Yeah, I'll be yeah. some things like that. So, mm. and then we've got watercolour pens, which are yeah. Great. So, so how how what, how does the when you say watercolour pens, mm -hmm. do you mean the things there at the front? Yeah. Oh, these. Yeah. So how do they? If you're using the watercolour paints to the pens, is is it just the pens give you more precision? Yeah. It's um, if you're a little bit unconfident with uh, putting your paints on your stamps, you can apply these direct to stamp and yeah. get your watercolour effect. Yeah. So these are for maybe people who want to draw a heavy line and then wash it out, but the colours all match in with all the papers and everything. Brilliant. So this is almost like having a detailed pen. Yeah. But you're not. But you're not stuck with the fact that it's permanent and, and you get a big line, yeah. you can wash the line out. 
Yeah, and a dual tipped as well. Absolutely, so a got chisel, chisel and yeah. a bullet. So yeah, they're brilliant. really under. I, I like the colours because they work really well with colours across the brand. Yeah. They, they really know what to do. Should we have a look at yeah. how you can combine all these things together then? I'll show you some of these lovely things here in terms of the colours. Well, I've got them. some different ones. This is from Helen and she's done just a really simple background with the watercolour paints and the back papers. Carolyn's done like a little journal page. Yeah. Watercolours, rice paper elements in it. And she's cut a bit of the rice paper you can see in it. And this is, I love this, because yeah. this is just all the layers. You wouldn't think that flower went with that, but it really yeah, does. It really does. Can I just say, that God, is beautiful. That gorgeous. on the front of a card. It's done, isn't it? Yeah, and beauty is never perfect. No. Never. Except when it's filtered on Instagram, which if you go to my account, you will find it is. I've never done that. I'll have to try oh, I that. look about 100 years younger on my Instagram account. Well, I, well I'm good. I need my face ironing. <laughs> So I might do that, I might slow it down and after, iron it. After this show, show I'm, I'm doing the next show, but if you're around... I went around all day. Right, we'll, we'll do a selfie yeah. and we'll iron oh, our faces I'm doing, I'm and we'll get it on social media. Oh yeah, I'll be sending that to all my ex-boyfriends. <laughs> <laughs> right, I've only got two. <laughs> <laughs> I get all these messages and they're like, oh, you know, you look so good or whatever. I just think, if only you could meet me in real life, you, you would realise that I'm 100 it. years older ah. than I am on my filtered well, things. Well, I don't agree with that. <laughs> I do need the glasses on, though. <laughs> <laughs> bum, bum, sorry. <laughs> Love it. Right, here we go. That's fun, isn't it? Yeah, right. This is H's again. And she's really, she's uh, really got a, a great way, way with material. Yeah. Um, and she she uses them very differently to the others. I love this. I love her style. Yeah, you see, I like texture I and do. I like the mixed media yeah. and I like this kind of grunge thing. I did a Facebook Live the other day on my mm. own um, mm -hmm. Facebook uh, for my company and I was talking about, well, one of the people was watching and said, oh, I love that piece of art in the background and I actually bought it on Honeymoon right. and I was showing it and that's got all these lovely kind of, you know, splashes and things. And, and it, it's, yeah, it draws your eye around the picture, which is what exactly. you want. It creates interest yeah. rather than just focal, but yeah. yeah I've, I'm really lucky that they, they, they do manage to do that quite yeah. well, this. Yeah. yeah, very good. Well, if you want all that, by the way, 40% of that stock has gone. 495419 is your item number, £54.96, uh, and uh, the usual price a little bit higher than that. And the Freedom member is a very good price, remember. So that's 49.46. Uh, oh, can you split the cost as well on FlexiPay? Like, yes, of course. What's the minimum amount you have to pay on Flexi to be able to split it? But oh, this one is on Flexi, yeah. so that's great. Yeah, it's even yeah. better because I, I prefer 60 doing or more. That. Yeah, I prefer doing that because I always when I do my own shows, I think right, how much is that in my head, and I yeah. equate it to parking and a drink and yeah. sitting down, and I think. That's yeah. going to cost me a cup of coffee exactly. and a pack, and, and I think, what? Yeah. And I have got no fun after 10 minutes of that. This, yeah. it lasts me. Yeah. And then if I can do that every month, I can budget. But can we park and have a cup of coffee as well? Yeah. As you buy things. Well, I'd rather buy all this. <laughs> oh, thanks. <laughs> well, I'll come and coffee with you. Oh, you? Yeah, yeah, of course. Anything. I'll buy you one. I've just invited you out and you've uh, just rejected oh, me. Oh, no, would never. <laughs> I've been a fan of this for ages. <laughs> it's like, I've got, what's that word now when you, you're like, Oh, a bit starstruck. That I am. Anyway, we've got rice papers now. We have got beautiful papers. These are gorgeous. Now, these, you see, in my, you know, before I worked in the craft industry, I would have thought this is like a paper mache thing. Is it? Is that right? You is could that what use, you use it like that. that. This is from. This is actual mulberry. Mm. So mulberry is from a tree. Yes. And it's a beautiful. Yeah. Um, and, and you can you can see it on the back of the papers. You've got the the grain running through the fibrous grain and it's absolutely beautiful if you lay uh, like a, a glaze over it you, mm. all those things it's beautiful with a light inside it yeah. because you see That's all those nice, yeah. I mean if you just get one of these a cardboard tube papier mache style yeah. toilet roll old whatever yeah. and put this round it let it set and take the cardboard out and then a tea light a, a, a battery one all you'll get are just all the images coming yeah. out. Oh, what so a lovely simple. idea! So you could use a jam jar or anything because yeah. you can take as long as you can take the jam jar out. Yeah. But then 
you have got this column of light. It's so stunning. Yeah, that's a nice idea. So simple. That's why she's clever, you see. She's brilliant. Um, okay, if you would like to get hold of this lovely collection of rice papers, you can see all the lovely images there. 45% of the stock has gone. 361868. Yes, lemurs. They are lemurs. And crosses and uh, flowers there. They're not all yeah. girly girly, are Not they? all girly girly. I like that. Yeah, I like those a lot. Lovely. And um, we've also got a colour swatch on the bottom as well, as you can yeah. see there. So you can see the colours there that have been used. I love that. I keep the older them because sometimes my brain gets stuck and I think, what colour goes with this? Yeah. Those are so That's handy. That's handy, isn't it? Yeah. I don't yeah. think they knew how handy they was when they were making them printed yeah. swatches. No, probably just put it on as a kind of, I don't a, know. A, a colour thing. Yeah, colour thing. Not realising how people would use Absolutely, them. Absolutely, yeah. Yeah, brilliant. Well, 361868 if you want to have a go with those. That's the kind of thing that I think you get, you tear, you play with and it's good fun. Any tiny bit that you get, you mm. save. I've got yeah. a bag of bits and then, you know, like all the people would go, Right, put it in bin, toilet yeah. paper or something. Yeah. And it's like, no, no. give it me back, it's yeah. precious. Exactly, use it all. Oh, yes. Never waste. Never, never waste. Never, never, ever. Now, um, 12 by 12 paper pads. This is something I want to get into right. designing. Mm. Um, I love a 12 by 12 paper pad. I love that. I don't know what it is, it's just the size of them. Because, you know, I was talking to one of the lovely crafters the other day here, and they said, if you're going to design paper pads, what size would you do? And I said, 12 by 12. I don't know why. Is it, the, is it a really popular size? Or? I think it's coming back. It was. We, all of us just coordinate with crafters. Uh, sorry, we just think of scrapbooking with this. But I don't agree with that because there's so many elements. This goes on furniture. It can go on... It can go on anything you want. You, mm. But I, I want to bring these back. I really want to bring these back because I used to, when I was, before I was in TV and all that, I was a teacher and art teacher for 20 years. But you were a fantastic teacher. I was strict. I just, one of my students had just contacted me and it was, I was like blubbering when they talked to me. It was wonderful. But um, this, this, these work for them and we used to make great squash books and stuff mm. and journal pages with them. So to me, I'm going to go back to that because they work. They were good, and they worked. And that, that there's a reason for that. It's because they were good. Yeah. So why what, change yeah, it? Why change it? I mean, look at that. You see, this is what I love about. I, I mean, you could you it. could just literally put that into a frame and put it on your wall. You, you could know. get a huge what, from huge. that yellow and orange, no yellow and blue place. Yes. And just huge put that in frame, the middle. Put it in the middle. It's done. Dusted. And that's it. You've got. And a, you could. A I tell you on. what. You could change your artwork every week just yes. by swapping it over. Exactly. So. You don't have to be really, really sort of arty, but I think these help. These really do help. Yeah. Quite dramatic. Yeah. And this is uh, the mindful range from oh. Janina. So it's all, it's got that essence of mindfulness and thought. And, yeah. And I think some of these papers, you look at them and you think it does bring memories and things yeah, back but exactly it's it's about sitting down and enjoying the work yeah, yeah. so love it and mm. these, these are yeah we've got a couple do. of samples we've mm. got one from helen and we've got one from carolyn and she's just used the paper on that with the um dragonfly so you could just use the paper as is and then brought it you know you wouldn't believe it looks 3d doesn't it yeah that? it does you see look once again look it's all that texture oh she's great going with that yeah there. she's great with that yeah and all the layers yeah yeah lovely so, very nice, very nice. Okay, four four zero seven one two. Your item number. Oh, is that what nine ninety nine for all that? Twelve, twelve papers, nine ninety nine. That's good. I like it, and the double sided as well. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and you do get some duplicates there, don't you? I think they are duplicates, aren't they? No, no, you get. Oh yeah, you get yeah, two of each. You get two of so each. Yeah, yeah, two of each. Because yeah, yeah. Because sometimes Cause I think that you can. Um, Look at one and go, oh, I want to save that. Well, it doesn't matter then because the sides, you can use either, yeah, either side either then. Side, cause yeah. that, to me, half the time I don't use papers is because I don't want to use the other side. Yeah. Spoil it. Yeah, exactly. So there you go. If you want to have a play with those, 440712 is your item number. Fabulous. Right, let's go on to our die cut blocks now. Um, and um, once again, fantastic value as always here at Hochanda. So hop onto the website and at 9 99 we're talking about here what should we say well the die cut blocks have been around for years and mm. years and years and and, and the renowned that these are known studio like are known for them and this is great because what you can do is you can leave you, there's a little recipe at the top of i call it recipe and it shows you exactly how you could do it yeah but then all the elements to do it mm. but then you change it up um but then the little recipe card you've got at the top it that could use be um, a topper or a gift tag or anything. So it shows you if I just, I won't do that one. I don't know which one it is, but it shows you on the there you go, all the ones you can make and all the elements are in the book. 
tiny little pips and you don't even notice the pips. You can sand them off, but I don't ever use, don't, yeah, bother. don't bother. They're really well cut as well, so you don't have to um, worry about sort of ripping them or anything and good paper apparently you've got enough here to make 12 full cards with these projects yeah, in each absolutely. of the books so 24 cards five um, each so and you could sell these cards on couldn't yep, you angel Wars is fine absolutely. so you know 10 quid there, you can any. make you know 24 cards so that's uh, i reckon as good. we know you yeah you could make more, more. Could loads more than, more than that, that. you could yeah. just put the topper on one card couldn't absolutely you? yeah but, yeah and you could I think these work great in your journals and yeah. they're great masculine cards, some of them, because we're all stuck for that. Yes. All stuck for masculine stuff. It's yeah. just annoying when you think, what do I do for my dad, uncle, friend, whatever. It's yeah, like, especially if they're not into sport. Oh, There's no. so many cards. Like, my what? dad has never played sport in his life. He's actually quite into model airplanes and makes planes oh, and he's always wonderful. when 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 I was seven uh it was a weekend dad because there was a divorce it's all right I'm over it don't worry don't have something <laughs> before me it's fine it's fine I've had therapy uh but he used to pick me up every weekend and we would craft so we wow. would like make little, I remember this little hedgehog we made together or he would do like the etching and things like that so he and he's very artistic uh but he's never been into the sport or anything so, but yeah. a man like that's quite hard if you're trying to find a car Absolutely. it's all golf or football or beer and he's not a drinker either well there's one card in there and it's almost like stitching and and making and it's, it's it, it that it suit mm. your dad really well because it's all about the, yeah, creativity, the creativity and building stuff up yeah. so yeah i totally agree it's like this here i think that would really work because you've got all these different things in yes. there that don't, don't always apply i've not seen stuff like that before no yeah it's good you know i've had to make my mm. own up if that makes sense from mm. parts of others so yeah, yeah. but yeah bring some nice stuff the industrial stuff yeah can I just say how lovely it is being back in a crafty environment? Ooh. I love ladies like this because I really like hearing your passion. Uh, oh, thank you. you. Know, I am it is, real. It's fantastic. I'm it's a bit annoying sometimes because it's like, no, whoa, but no, yeah, I do. No, I, I love to hear people being passionate about whatever it is in their lives. And well, it's great if you're to not, it, then move on and do something yeah, else. Yeah, yeah, mm. and it's so true. And you've got to be happy. You yeah. really have. You People have. have to well, be. I'm happy. You're happy. I, I'm really happy. You're We're all happy. Uh, well, OK, if you want to buy today, hochanda.com. It's 779544, your item number, £9.99. Uh, also as well here, always. I've got, I've got <laughs> are a you fiddling? No, I've got a donut on my head, look. Look, let's both fiddle. There we are. There right. we go. And we're all right now. We're, we're, we're you're, you're really lovely. Mine's just like a mattress <laughs> today. I've got court screws today. Oh, we've got Dream Day today as well. I, now, I've heard about this. People are yes. walking around in suits. Yes. What's happening? We've got all people who've won a prize to come down and have a day here. And I'm oh. really looking forward to gate crushing. They've probably got a booby prize because I'm here. And they'll go, oh, she! I don't no want it. No way. <laughs> now, um, we always have a deal of the day. It launches at 7 a.m. And uh, our deal of the day today is very fittingly studio light uh, a5 pads there so if you want to have a look at those uh, they are fabulous paper pads uh, to work alongside everything that you've looked at today 438202 your item number usual price 1799 today 1299 you're saving yourself five pounds so why not pick up the phone give us a call go on the website grab your deal of the day Lovely. We're at demo time. Yep. This is where the magic happens, as they say, on, <laughs> on Cribs <laughs> and MTV. Did you used to watch that? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> the magic happened. I used to love that. Um, I used to love it, but it doesn't do it anymore. I have to warn you, I have a problem. I, I, I pe paint with my fingers. I get so messy. I wipe them on my pants and everything. <laughs> and um, Do you often craft in your pants? Oh, yeah. Oh. <laughs> I mean, like your pants. Well, in Manchester, right, pants are these. Yes. Not trousers, no, right. right? So I had a big, in the conference room, I had a big trolley with my stuff on and the clean pants were on the top and I walked in to get it and they were all there and I was like, oh, I'm so sorry, I need to get my clean pants for the show because I've got the dirty ones on, I need to get them. And they all just went, and pants, they you thought see, I meant. You see pants from here. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, I was mortified. I walked out looking like, what's up with them? Why are they doing that? But I anyway. mean, my clean pants. Yeah, it was horrendous. It's always good to have clean pants on. So, why I'm telling you all that, I don't know, I do. But, I so don't stand know why. back. 
stand back because Paula was stood there one day. <laughs> I'm like, oh, and it, you know, it, it did a body burp yeah. like that, and it went. <laughs> well, yesterday, oh, no, Tuesday, I was doing a show, um, and you know, I can't remember who I was with and when, because it, the day, uh, it, it was all a blur that day, because poor old Alex was sick. She had to go home, and they oh, said to me, right, instead yeah. of you just like hanging around, could you do some shows? And I was like, yeah, that's get right, in. get in. So I did, and I can't, you know, I can't remember who my guest was. Whoever it was was spraying, and I had it was a ring for my big birthday this year that my husband had bought for me. So you what, know, Ferta? yeah, yeah, Ferta, my thirtieth birthday. You're right. You got well for that. <sighs> um, I and and um, and I stood you with it like this. I shut these sprays, and I was like, <gasps> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> But you can go now when it's cheap. So. Well, well, Paul was just stood there and I went like, oh, it's out now. And I went, oh, that's not, not on me. She was covered. She was covered. She looked like she had, had Dalmatian spots all over her. And I was mortified because I really, really, I mean, joking apart. Yeah. <gasps> that's dreadful. Anyway, what I've done is I've we got digress. an MDF. Yeah, it's so great because I'm, I'm actually like, like I say, I'm passionate about this, but I'm yeah. really infused to be working with you yeah. as well. Um, so I've got an MDF square, and I tell everybody, you don't need a big surface area of, of gesso on it. Gesso is just to give it a key, right. just to give it some structure so that you can work on it. So the more you put on, the longer you wait. And that's done. Already? Yeah, that's done. Mm. So now I can work on that. Whereas if I started to paint it like an emulsion, It'd it, take a it while. would take ages. Yeah. So I'm going to build up colour, and I'm just going to use some of the, the die cuts from... Um, the, the, what I've got here already done. So some yeah. of these I'm going to use these, use some stencils, some rice papers, all the things that they're renowned for, really. Yeah. So, right, I'm going to start with this. No, I don't want to use that. Oh, well, I will use it. I'm going to use the back of this and I'm just going to put some colour on. I want to build up colour. I don't want it to be... I'm just using gesso again. I don't want it to be... Um, sort of heavy duty colour, I just want little bits of it showing. Because then anything I put on top of this with the same pattern will all meet um, and coordinate. Mm. And it looks a bit hit and miss, and it is, but I don't want it to be neat. I never want it to be neat, because it doesn't work. Yeah, but do you know what I think is great about it being hit and miss like this, is that when people are watching at home, hopefully they can see that it's hit and miss and think, well, I can do that. Because it doesn't have oh, to be precise. You don't totally. have to know exactly what you're doing. You can just have a go. Well, people, really, I'll use both. I'll, I'll use the paint. I can't get this off. People have said that to me. and, and Oh, that's... Big. Oh, wow, yeah. Withers. Right. You need to open them. These are new ones. Oh, no. Right. I'll use them now. <laughs> I will use them in a minute. Uh, do you want to try and get them open for oh, you? Oh, please, my love. That'd be brilliant. Oh, what have I set myself up for now? Yeah. I think it's that plastic that needs cutting. That's all. Right. Yeah, so, it's... wait. Go on, you crack on. Wait your paints, your watercolour paints. And these are absolutely amazing because these work so strongly. The pigments work so well with the gesso. And all I'm going to do, I'm going to get my... Difficult, isn't it? It is a bit difficult. Go on, go on, Tiny. Oh, well. Now, a little bit of a warning. Uh, Don't wet oh. your brush too much because you want the pigment, not you're not watercolouring. <laughs> so I'm just going to pick up my favourite, which is Serenita, and I'm putting that there, a tiny bit, and I'm going to pick up the other one next to it. I haven't got the names there. I think it's Hope. So I'm choosing the two colours that are going to go with the rice papers. So the rice papers I'm choosing are, are, are like very ethereal, and they've got this wonderful... It doesn't really matter because they all work, but they've got this ethereal sort of greens going on and you could use any one of these a the flower one would work yeah you can buy the rice papers by themselves by yeah. the way we'll give you the details on the screen i've got oh, them open hey. i mean i didn't have any help whatsoever <laughs> from a handsome young man who was standing in the studio Ajax. i had no help whatsoever Ajax. so what i've done is put a little <laughs> bit of paint there i'm going to add now i've got them all i'm going to use them and i'm going to put a little bit of this color next to it just to show you that you can use both so um, I'm just going to do, sorry about the noise, Ugh. that goes through people's teeth, but all these can be worked the same way and we've got different colours, so I'm going to now add sort of some tone, a gesso, tiny bit of gesso, and you think, oh there's now on that, and there really is, is when yeah. you start to sort of add the colours, and all I'm doing is bringing the colours again, willy nilly. I don't want it to build up too fast. The aim of this is to have at least six or seven layers on it. Yeah. So that you're creating lots of interest, even depth in it, and just you get a pop of colour now and again, and you think, oh, 
because the rice paper you can see through it and I don't want that to be sort of overpowered by this so mm. and then what I'm going to do is just as I normally do I'm just going to get a tiny bit of what's left on here with this and I'm just going to take the edges away because I'm not too happy with the edges so now that's just using the die cut now I know I've used that side but I am going to use this die cut and I'm going to use it but I'm going to paint it as well so use your die cut as a stencil and then paint it it yeah, doesn't matter exactly it Do does not want. matter there's no rule that's the thing there are no rules that's why I like being around crafty people because there's no rules I think the minute you set yourself up with rules mm. is you're gonna fail aren't you yeah and, yeah. and it's, it's if you don't tell anyone what your plan is no mm. one knows when you've gone Peak tongue, anyway. Exactly. Oh, peak tongue. That's such a northern expression. Oh, it is. Give me peak tongue. Was northern. So you're from Manchester. Yeah. Manchester. Manchester. I'm from Wakey. Wakefield. Wakefield. Not yeah. far. Not far. Have you ever seen Shameless on Teller? Yeah. That's the estate I'm from. That's like me. That's that's it, that is the kind of like thing I'm from. Yeah, definitely. I, but it's the actual estate. Oh, is that the actual estate? Yeah, it's the actual estate. My mum's house, and I'm on it because I was driving round that much. She said, "I'll leave her on in my punto." Yeah. <laughs> I, I want to be on telly. It was so weird now thinking that I'm on this, but yeah. So anyway, you can take the girl out of Gorton, but you can't take Gorton out of the girl. What you can do now is introduce a little bit with stencils if you want. You don't have to. Or I'm going to use, I did this last night, and I'm, you get fads, don't, well I do. I think it's my age. Um, you get fads of using separate different things now oh come on this is boring telling me what you're doing this oh i've got modeling paste and i just want to show everybody how there it is um how versatile these paints are because i'm now going to array um mix these paints with modeling paste and again same colors and if you stick to two or three well three colors at first you won't go wrong it's mm. when you add too many and if you stick to the same um like hot or cold colors yeah. it's if you start mixing warm tones unless you know what you're doing yeah warm tones with cool tones it gets a little bit it can be a bit iffy yeah so i'm not going to mix this too well i've just put a little bit down i'm hopefully going to get like a, a an ombre and i've mixed the two colors together and i'm going to go back with this now just before um, I painted over this and you could just see over it a key with a gesso. So mm. I'm going to go on with the back again and I'm mm. just going to bring tiny bits. And now the rule of three applies. Always threes. Any see, I, 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 I love this. That is just literally that put through that stencil and look what you've created. And, and you know people who are not in the know you might think you're doing that with a little knife yourself or something. They might just think that you, you've made that, which makes you look so clever, doesn't it? And it's not clever. And I'm, I'm really, I've got, my, my group is wonderful. And it's a case of, they say so often to me, oh, you make me believe I can do it. Well, you can do it. It's yeah. not, this is not rocket science without being rude to people. I'm not saying that you, this is so easy. It's mm. just about people introducing sometimes a little bit of an idea for yeah. you. Now, I've got some, it could be anything. I've got embossing powders here. I've got different colours. Yeah, loads of these on the website. You just choose what you want. I mean, mm. I could go with just to make this shiny, but I'm going to shiny. go shiny. Are they on pick and mixers? These uh, embossing powders and things. I think so they, they are on the, website. on the website. Yeah, yeah, yeah. they are on the website. It's just that, that I just choose the ones that are going to go with the paints yeah. and stuff. Now, if you've got alcohol inks and clear embossing powder, you can make your own colours. Mm. So that's a nice way of doing it. Now I'm just yeah. going to use a tiny bit of, I think, the white, because it'll stick within the mm. um, um, where I've put the paste. Not all over. Yeah. I don't want it to be sort of too what's the word, too, too um, regimented. And yeah. I'm just going to show you what happens with the modelling paste and, well, you have usually seen this loads of times, mm. and the gel and the modelling paste and the colours, the soft, um, embossing paste. You know, it's funny, our lovely director, Jimmy, um, just said, uh, oh, I like this. And it, is it weird? We all, we love this magic that happens yeah. when we use these heat tools. It, it is just something about seeing it transform into something else. Well, I'm using a chunky one mm. so that you actually get lots of texture. Yeah. Lovely. And this won't, this won't take away from your rice papers or anything else I'm going to use. Yeah, they look like snowy leaves now, don't yeah. they? Yeah. 
Tuscany. And if you want to, you can just add, you know, if you wanted an area that's just with your, uh, your embossing mm. powder, just do that. So now I'm going to just get what my rice paper, um, and I could choose any one of them. Yeah. I particularly like this one. I was going to say that ties yeah. in beautifully, doesn't it? Yeah. And the way you can do it, there's an easy way of doing it, and rather than ripping, if you don't want to rip and you want to create that feathered edge and it's just by using your water uh, brush oh. and then it just top tip yeah mm. it just for sure you get me hand out of the way that will just rip where the water is lovely so you've got a feathered edge because mm. if you cut it it can be a little bit too harsh mm. when you apply it to there mm. so that way don't save that save that don't don't go anywhere with that it's uh it's really easy to do mm. and keep that colored thing because it's really handy, handy. to have because i can use that now i don't want that so that will probably be at the bottom of the edge and i'll change that round now if event uh, at the beginning i wanted it to be that way but looking at this now oh god don't be frightened to turn your stuff around oh, look at that. It, it's mm. just so simple to do and these little bits here perfect for just introducing over there now when i introduce um, a medium to this now hopefully it will disappear yeah but you'll be left with the wonderful um papers now i'm using a rice paper glue but you could use any watered down pva not too much water because you don't want it to um what's the word you don't want it to the more water the less molecules stick together yeah so if you introduce too much water then the molecules sort of just they look like they're sticking and then the next minute they're all they dry and sort of flake off so a little bit on the back not a lot that's just to let it sort of bed down and just and the thing is you've got time to move so if i just show you now hopefully this will disappear into the background but still have some sort of interest now so i've used the papers the die cuts in a different way um, because, as I was saying before, Rachel, you'd, when you're buying die cuts, they're not just for die cutting, you can use them as your stencils, you can use them, and if you think about that, then they're well worth the money. Absolutely. You know, it's when you just buy them and you think, oh, I can only make a box That's with right. it, or, but you can, mm. you can do so much. Don't rip this off, because mm. that just folds over, and again, I've got a little bit, so up here, I've got a tiny bit more there, because I need three to balance it, mm. so a tiny bit up there. And this looks really good if you just get a big um, shadow box and you just put this, paint it black or white on the edges and just put this with a big mount around it mm. and it's just finished. You don't need to do out else. I will do, will do. Right, so that's that. So yeah. do you want to do any rice papers, uh, any deal of the days or anything? Are you all right? Uh, I'll give them a quick mention, yeah, shall I? Yeah, yeah, while you're just... Um, well, I'm just gluing. Tootling. I'm only gluing. A bit of gluing. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, basically, the other day we did it this morning, actually, me and Derek. Well, not this morning, me and Derek just, well, just laughed for an hour, I thought really. it was brilliant. <laughs> it was like, you'd it's like we're on. It was like, but it, I know, but it was like we'd like known each other for 25 years. We'd met in the dressing room for 20 minutes, but he was lovely. No He's way. He's glorious. Yeah, literally, I've never met him before. No way. Never met him before. That was we're, brilliant. We had a little chat for 20 minutes. He's a lovely guy. You know, look, I'm showing you a blank page. That's exciting, isn't it? <laughs> uh, let's have a look. These are three paper pads here. And um, what's lovely is you get all these little elements. So you could just use, you know, cut these out and use them on your projects. And you get um, three pages. Yeah, three pages of elements uh, within your paper pads there. So you can see lots of different themes going on. And then you get your, oh, I see you get three no, there's your paper pads. Yeah, so that's right. And then you get your papers. So those elements would work with those as well. So um, six sheets, 36 sheets, nine patterns. We got there in the end. 36 sheets, nine. Oh, there's lots of numbers we've thrown away at the moment. Oh, I'm not Carol Vordman, you know. I don't work with numbers like that. Uh, 170 GSM. <laughs> Honestly, I was saying 36, 9, 9, 36, 170. That's Four. like when people are putting you off, isn't it, when you're trying to count? They're like, shut up! <laughs> oh, people have no idea what goes on when Irie is at home, do they? They no. have no idea. That's why I don't have it. I just could not control. I you, just have to say something to me. Well, you scared me this morning. You said there's too many voices in your head anyway. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, let's not stand next to you. Uh, this is the other paper because you get three for 12 99 which is fabulous. 
Um, so once again, you have got that's my. You see, my fault. I did say to them, look, you can give me whatever you want in talkback. I can handle it. And now, <laughs> proven, I can't. Um, so look, you've got all these lovely um, different. Uh, you see, look at that. I love it when you look at a, a piece of paper. It looks it. like it's textured, and it's not. No, it's not. But we've got some clever? really nice papers in there. Yeah. And I like the fact that each one has got a theme running through it. Yes. Cows are big. I don't mean literally. They are an older big, but the big people like cows, don't they? They collect. Yeah, I don't understand it quite myself. No, but pigs and stuff, but yeah, cows. And Can I tell animals. you? I have got have you? a phobia of cows. Have you? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I got attacked by him. Yeah, this is what this is what I'm. You see, I got attacked you and by me were soulmates. him. This is what I'm saying. My, we, I used to do this walk when I lived in London. We would walk around. Um, we did a circular walk. Oh, so, you right, know, you go yeah. to the countryside, start somewhere, and then do a long, yeah, five-mile yeah, walk yeah. before I had a child. And we'd do these long walks, and often they would take you through a field of cows. And I would say to my husband, I'm not doing it. And he'd go, God, don't be ridiculous. And I'd go, no, I'm not doing it. No. We'd have to walk an extra mile to walk around the field, because Absolutely. I would not walk through the field with cows. I hate them. Absolutely I mean, I don't hate terrifying. them. They're probably lovely. My husband loves no, them. Not. thinks that they look lovely with big, long eyelashes. I tell you what, when you get near them, <laughs> no, they'll go for you. They, they do go for you. Yeah, they really do. They really oh, do. We was in a, a field. That's a moving story there. I oh, see. That, moving. Oh, that's rough, that. That was rough, that. <laughs> <laughs> Have I been through this one? <laughs> uh, and this is your third paper pad. So there you go. You can... Uh, Oh, an avocado. When life gives you lemons, make lemonade. That's what I always say. You see, say. there's some funky ones there. Because yeah. there's like, not everybody's into the same stuff. I know, like on design teams, you've got people, they like different stuff. Yeah. And I think that's the way to go. If it's all one, one thing, it can be a little bit. Well, you're just, you're just creating you just create it. One, one sort of theme for the market. You're not yeah. giving it to everybody. And you? the great thing is with these paper pads, of course, twelve ninety nine. if there are sheets in here that you don't like, it doesn't matter because you're getting such great value anyway for the other sheets that you do like. And you get four of each of the sheets. So then look at that. That makes you want to go like that, but we're worried about splinters. Yes, but a exactly. a little background piece there, and then you could use, let's have a look there, that one, and then you could use your elements. I mean, if there's you know. a colour matching this, I might use it in the background. Yeah, get your bench in front of that or something. Yeah, so you know you can really play, can't you? Yeah, you can. Yeah, and so, if you're stuck, you can make a quick card. Which yeah, is... exactly. So three paper pads. There you are for twelve ninety nine instead of seventeen pounds and ninety nine pence. Four three eight two o two is your item number. This is your, um, what was this one? This is your... Deal of the day. Deal of the day. Launch this morning. Deal so it finishes day. tomorrow at 7. That's it. So you've uh, got that saving for them. Um, oh, we've got a viewer image. Oh, I love emails. Yeah, if you want to send anything in, studio at hochandler.com. Uh, this is hey. from Jewel. Uh, lovely. So she has sent this and she said, Lou, she made this for you. No way. Yeah, yeah. Thank you for your inspiration and no demonstrations. Way. Absolutely loves you. Right. So there you go. That. Do you know what? I'd like to come to work looking like that one day. It's fabulous. That's one of the. Um, that's one of the ranges. The fantasy ranges. Mm. It's brilliant. I have to put a penny on, guys, because I'm getting mucky. No, it's not. It's because they can't see me on screen with this dark purple top. <laughs> I thought I got away with it, guys. I mean, I haven't. I don't like wearing colour. You see? Don't you? I love colour, but only in uh, certain areas. Yeah. Well, right. that is beautiful. So thank you beautiful. very much, my lovely, for sending that in. We wow. do appreciate it. If you've got any um, anything you want to say, or um, please make it nice. Uh, <laughs> I hate that, Rachel. I um, can handle it. Studio at hochanda.com uh, or any pictures of your work we'd love to see absolutely right right uh, when when we was chatting then at the beginning i yeah. decided that i was going to put this on which is the die cut but i'm using the die cut on its own now because i actually quite like it for just elements yeah. i just like the idea not plonking it on like that but i just like the idea of having a central just an area mm -hmm. and maybe a part of this now these i would not you don't have to use them like that i don't want to use them all like that i would just want elements so what I've done is, before, uh, sorry guys, I've just put it in the middle, before I sort of stick it all down, I play around, not for long, because otherwise you faff, yeah. and faffing it is not good. And then I'm going to get one of the texts from the stamps, or I could just do something like this cyclamen on the, not on the top of that, but introduce a very nice washed sort of image yeah. like this. And I'm going to use it, so, what I would do is just introduce the pens, or you could introduce the um, paint on this, and you could just colour these in. But what I don't want you to do is, because even the chisel tip is a little bit, it, it's quite a thin one, mm. so it takes you a while. What I would suggest you do is do a wash just by 
putting the colour down like we did before and a bit with the others and put a little bit of blue with it as well so it's not um, it's not all one tonal colour and little tip for you guys is this is a lesson <laughs> right when you add white it's a tint yes when you add black it's a shade and when you add grey it's a tone there you I go. did not know that. There you, you go. have taught something new. People get confused with it and they go, well, mm. what, what do you mean by it's a different tone? Mm. Well, that's what it means. It's Tone means greys. Yeah. And um, black is when you add shade. Yeah. Um, and the white is always tint. So when you say, oh, I need more tone on that, it means not black. It needs, it needs more greys or blues and stuff mm. like that. So anyway, I've got this on there, quite like that colour, quite fits with it. I've put a little bit on there and this is going to be behind. So I'm not worried about it um, having bits of glue showing. I'm just sticking that on there. So if you think this is totally different to what we've got, yeah. but I've used all the die cuts, I've used elements, I've used... Um, everything really on one day special now i don't mm. want to use it all but i'm just going to put that I, there. I was thinking here just thinking ahead because i have a question I, yeah um, please obviously ask. been you here you know when you um well oh no you can do it anyway because when you spend over 60 pounds you can open a flexi basket then right and then but what about if you've got one item like we've got an item mm. today on the show that is flexi basket mm. can you add other things into yeah. that basket even if they're less than 60. okay cool because I, I mean we've got that on the show anyway but i was just thinking you know if you bought quite a few of these things to to be able to make something yeah. like that you could split the cost couldn't you because i am sort of looking at what you're doing i'm thinking oh you need a bit of that you need a bit of that and a bit of that but that one bundle is good though because that's got lots of this in there well i think it's 105 quid for two for oh, the whole show is it and then you could divide it don't divide quote it me two. yeah i yeah. mean it, it could be a little bit more this is the time i would use this now and i would just pick out areas of um detail just round here but the one thing that has got on a supplement is a little bit of red and this is where you would go in with your watercolors tiny bit of the red and you just it's just add a little bit of the watercolor to the edge and just hit it's strange how when you start to notice, or when you're observing, so when you're doing obs observational drawing or anything like that, you notice how much colour there is. Mm. When you really think there isn't any colour, mm. like the gre uh, greens and reds and roses and all sorts, it's just like, whoa, I didn't even know that. So. Do you know, my, just saw you talking about being an art teacher, my daughter's doing art at the moment. Oh, yeah. She's doing um, textiles and art. Um, she, she actually wants to be a set designer right. at the moment. Yeah, so okay. she was sort of looking at that. But um, it's amazing, you know, seeing her develop. In, Absolutely. You know, brilliant. She's got a really good teacher. Um, that's, and it is, that's the most important It bit. is, and it's fantastic seeing her uh, colour and everything. Uh, and develop. develop and, and her style and... You know, it's amazing, actually. It's, it's fantastic, mm. isn't it? That is, mm. that, that's why I did it. I used to see my group and I go, oh, yeah. wow, here they go. Yeah. I might need a little bit more white on that, but what I could do for that is just add a little bit of embossing powder. I think I do. I might need a little bit more gesso. So when I'm using stuff like this, I really just use, very, very rare do I need to use white, I tend, mm. um, paint, acrylic. I tend to use um, gesso just because it's there, really. <sighs> Now this might be really fine, but I can do a negative style with it. So I've really more or less used everything we've got today, die cuts, and um, I hope it's worked. Give it a abracadabra. Oh yes. yes. Now you might not be able to see the flowers, but a little tip here is just go back in, I've got a little bit of paint on there, it doesn't matter, and just bring where the flowers are. Now I'm not painting posh, I'm just following where they are just to bring in that mm. and if you wanted to you could easily just over overdraw these and overpaint so I'd let that dry mm. and then stamp it again and then if you want to bring this in oh away good catch because it's a watercolor I can bring the color out a little bit mm. and just soften it because I don't want it as heavy as that and then that red it's really not as overpowering as you think i've just got the little bit of color i'm just going to add a shadow around it just to give it and that these are the the colors are used on the pens i'm not um, introducing too much what is she doing gcse a level uh, gcse 
Oh, um, cool. Yeah, and she's also taken joinery, so she's one of six boys. Oh, I, that that'd be me. <laughs> she does joinery once a week. Her teacher loves her because she dances seven uh, six days a week as well. So she's got her point shoes in her in her in her bedroom next to her uh, oh, uh, metal it. metal ended shoes. That was shoes. me. That would be me. <laughs> that would be me. <laughs> it likes the dichotomy, but yeah, she's, I so she love does that. that. So she does the joinery. And do you know, this is amazing. Her teacher said um, I could help you to get some set uh, design uh, building experience if you really keep up with it. And I still wear it, would that be in London? And get this, the, all the Star Wars sets were made in Boston, in this big place. Yeah. In Boston, in Lincolnshire. Yeah. Isn't that amazing? I, I, that, yeah, and, and he works there uh, part-time. So I thought, it, sometimes it's like the stars align, don't did they? It, did it. And you know, I had a, a look, when I was doing my degree, um, I had a little um, sort of chance to do stuff like that, and it was at a big place called the Trafford Centre in Manchester. Yes, no, the Trafford Centre. And I did a um, show there once. Ah, right. Yeah. Well, I did the the painting in the hallways and stuff, and um, it was an experience never to be missed. So she can do it. What yeah. I've done here is I was playing with that, and there wasn't enough in it, so I've just piled on a couple of more just to pull it out, and just pull that out. Quite happy with that. And mm. all I'm going to do is add a little bit. Now you can add a little bit of colour to the edges of this if you want. I'm going to put a little bit of green with it if you want. It. But you could go with your distress or whatever. I'm quite happy to do this as it is. Bit of glue. I'm loving these colours though. I love these blues. And you need a bit more. Oh, mm. this is where the tacky glue comes in. Because although I've got that glue's really good, it's really made for the consistency is made for rice papers and stuff. Mm. This you can see is more construction. Yeah. And put it back in its lid because it does really work better. So, chosen it that way. And I'd wait for it to dry and then I would add maybe a little bit more. See, I'm going to move that round a bit. Yeah, I like that better. Right, and I'm done. So I've brought that curl round there, bring that curl round there. And I think that's quite a nice mixed media piece that would go in a frame yeah exactly as it is yeah it, i think it is all about when you do mixed media projects all about the framing and i personally think it's always Sorry good to that. do a much bigger frame with totally. a lot of light around it that draws you, you in you do it? need a big mm. i mean once that's put it looks a bit oh it's off one could move it but once that um once that's sort of done one you can sort of think about cutting this area out and overlapping but a big white frame around that mm. i've always done that i brought in white frames and put the artwork in frames and people yeah. have gone wow yeah and it's the framing absolutely yeah yeah, yeah. I went to Barcelona in, um, oh. in October, love Barcelona. Oh, it's it? amazing. It's it's absolutely love it. It's mine. Yeah, I oh, love it. And uh, they, I went to some galleries there and they had these fantastic big white frames with little things in the middle and they were amazing. I've got loads of pictures. Anyway, right, let's crack on. Um, have a look on the website, hochanda.com. You can see everything there. Shop ahead and, uh, yeah, you know, just have a look at what we've done today and, and, and pick some of the pieces there. As you say, if you want to put it all in your basket, £114 and then divide it into two uh, for everything on the show but uh, yes yeah, some lovely lovely things there and a cracking piece of work that Alu has just done for us there remember your freedom membership there as well 697 and that gives you special prices on some items fabulous let's have a quick war down the counter before we disappear you're going to disappear I'm going to go on to my next show which is all about paper pads so uh, paper. great show mm. I think you're on with Joe I am great stuff yeah that's going to be good yeah so dies journaling uh, making little um, journaling pieces as we've said yeah. mixing and matching absolutely these are so versatile you can use them as die cuts on their own little little like this is a triptych you put several layers together create a real sort of sturdy piece you can sort of leave a little tab there and make it cut as big as you want yeah you can exactly. go you forever. Could keep going forever yeah. couldn't you yeah. yeah like us two we could just keep going forever <laughs> well, I, and if you put <laughs> four of these together and join them there you've got a wonderful box yes so yeah. there's lots of things you can do yeah and these go great in a little tag book or you can make them into bunting mm. but the layers are done that's half the problem isn't it yeah, trying to cut marks. layers out yeah exactly it ends up like my mum used to cut my fringe like that. <laughs> on the on the, on on the, the wonky. wonky yeah oh yeah it used to end up like a stub on me head. that was awful <laughs> i had a bowl cut my yeah that's it yeah. but even so my mum would still have the bowl slanted <laughs> <laughs> me like that. I used to look like him, Phil Oka, but not on purpose. <laughs> yep. Or, Don't you want me, baby? Yeah, and you other songs that. by. And other songs that. by. Yeah. Yes. Copyright. Uh, uh, I think you can sing six seconds of a song, Kai. I've always said that, but I think it's probably a myth. So I probably cost TV it's, channels millions. Yeah. I, I I like to sing, but I just make the old words up. <laughs> I see.
dancing all the time. I love it. Right, okay, three, two, one, seven, oh, eight. If you want to get a hold of those dies, twenty nine nine to nine. Half the stock has now gone though, and that remember is our one day special. Yeah. The one day special confuses me because I know this was launched yesterday, so you think, well, that's a different day. But yeah, it's twenty four hours. Yeah, I I get round that by saying ODS and then confuse even more people. Yeah, but yeah, a yeah. one day special. One day special. Uh, now the next big bundle here has got the fantastic watercolours in there that we've been using. Of course, the watercolour pens. Uh, we've got the uh, cutouts here, yep. the grey board, the stamps. I mean, this is a lovely collection, it isn't is. it? It's yeah. a good present, and it's a good. Um, how to put it? This goes over lots of mediums. This, you don't have to um, do grungy stuff. I mean, these little chipboard elements can go on anything that you've got, but also the parts that are left are great for stenciling. Yeah, exactly. Mm. Use it all up. Absolutely. Use it all up. We've got some examples as well That's... for you to have a look at. But uh, yeah, they're great little fun bits to pop out. And look, what I love is look, you've got so many elements on that sheet, so you can pop out loads of little things. I actually can't like you? because these aren't really, really thick either, and you've got so they're not too. Yeah, chunky. not too chunky. Yeah. This yeah. is great. I mean, textured again. Ellen's great into recycling. Yes. So, and it brings another thing to you know ideas of using cardboard. Yeah. And then again, it, these are journaling pages. Yeah. Lovely. Die cuts used in different ways. Beautiful, mm. just elegant by Caroline. Yeah. And very lucky, very lucky. I love this as well. Yeah. I just love that. Yeah. Perfect. It reminds me of buildings and well, 1920s you know, and well, stuff. Well, I was looking at that thinking, well, I thought that was some building or yeah, something. Yeah, it it's could like be, couldn't something it? something in Dubai or something. Yeah. Have you been to Dubai? No. I've never been. I don't, I don't know if I fancy it, really. I, I want to go back to Barcelona, though. Oh, I love it. Um, love I, it. I went all the way up to the top of the cathedral, and it was just awe-inspiring. And the story about Gaudi, how he died. The Sagrada Familia? Yeah. yeah. When did you last go? Oh, God, 30 years. Yeah. How many? No, about 25 years. I was the same, about 25 years, and then I went literally in October. So now, when I went, they yeah. hadn't got to the second level, no, but now no. it's all no, done. No, I've got oh, to go. you've got to go. And the Ramblas, just... the Ramblas. But Gaudi is incredible. Oh, Why yes. do straight edges when you can do curves? I've got goosebumps, look. I know. Gaudi. Oh. I've got, right, we'll have to do a Gaudi trip. We'll have to do a Gaudi trip. Let's Doing do a it. Gaudi Gaudi trip. Trip. Gaudi trip. Uh, quickly, let's quickly talk about rice papers, uh, which are here. Beautiful rice papers for you to rip and tear and play with, as we have yeah. done. Six designs, two of each. Absolutely gorgeous, as you can see there. 361868, £14.99 if you'd like to get hold of those. Uh, quickly the 12 by oh sorry I've moved on 12 by 12 uh, papers as well double-sided yeah. and two of each so have a look on the website won't you ochanda.com uh, do you know what it's been an absolute pleasure yes, with you. I hope that people don't struck. think we've talked talk too much and uh, well, I don't care rubbish <laughs> on. Oh. You're amazing, though. Oh, you, you you're, are. you're inspirational. And yet you don't do it. It may just, it, it doesn't, you I've been think you would. I've surrounded by it all my life, yeah. though. Dad, husband, daughter it's, now. But you've got an eye. I can see you've got an eye for it. I've got, I've got two eyes, which is lucky. I'm doing yes. the next show. Right, thank you, darling. Thank you. <laughs>